versus everybody podcast, man. Episode goddamn 52. Man, we got two good, good dudes, man. Just did their show about two weeks ago, dog. From the Connected Experience. They Arthur's motherfucking Hustler's motherfucking. Everything you could think of, they probably tapped into it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything except for being a sucker. You feel oh, yeah, for sure. We got uh, SJ and AJ from the Connected Experience, man. What's going on with y'all boys? What up, dog? What What's up, going dog? On? What's going on? Hell yeah, man. Hey, man. I'm happy to have y'all. We talked about having y'all when I was on the uh, show with uh, with Buddy yeah. and stuff like that. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad to have y'all on, man. Y'all two people I kind of like look forward to having on the show. Thanks, we appreciate, we appreciate that. that, bro. Yeah. We looking forward to having you on our shit, too. Hell yeah, because y'all ain't no dull moments, man. I could hear from you when, you, <laughs> when we were talking, when I hear your uh, your podcast with other people, like, yeah. y'all keep the conversation going for sure, for sure. Yeah, and we do that, man, because, like, we want to bring out of our uh, guests, like, just something to humanize them you know what i mean because yeah. everybody on there for a reason so they own sure. they might have a podcast they might have an album they might be an author too but mm -hmm. that's all cool that's just part of what you do what make you you mm -hmm. that's just a small part so yeah. i look at people like a, a dinner right them just pieces of the recipe mm -hmm. what make the whole person you know what yeah, i mean yeah. so that's what we try to pull out of our guests and then we treat every guest how we want to be treated so whatever you do if we ever gonna be a guest on your show, we want to show you so much hospitality that you can't help but to do the same with For us. Sure. You know Hell what yeah. I mean? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And you always gonna learn something from y'all, dog. I learned a lot of shit when I went home to the crib. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I went and called my brother like, uh, you might maybe need some therapy. Like, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, but that's what we're here for, man. We just literally are our service to the world. Sure. Is we, we, are we service providers. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So we've been through a lot and it's like, we only been through it to share the story. Like yeah. I don't look at nothing too good, and I don't nothing look at too nothing bad. too bad. I really know? don't look at nothing and bad, bad at, at all. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't even look at it from a negative aspect or whatever yeah. happened. It's just yeah. Yeah, I find the positive and the good and everything. Bro. You got to, you got yeah. to, man. So you know, y'all been watching the show, man. You know, we always got to start with a salute me while I'm here. For sure, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? We can't wait for people to pass away and be like, oh man, I love them and shit, and they ain't here from you know why right. they was here. Yeah. So you know, cause I got the whole shit from man just being on Facebook and be like, damn, every time somebody die, like. I think that's the only time a dude tell another dude they love him. Well, that ain't how we operate, though. Yeah, you know, I tell, I tell yeah, everybody I love with you, yeah. when I get off the phone with them, I tell them I love them. And see, that's you know something I got to learn. You know, my dog Sugar, dog, my brother, they say that, <laughs> they say that I kind of hold my, my feelings. Like, I keep it tight, dog. Like, I don't try to, I don't release it. Yeah, yeah, but you got to, though, just on some 100 shit, though, you got to, whether they're good feelings or bad feelings, because mm -hmm. you got to have room for other feelings. Like, energy don't leave, bro. It just transfer. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, when, if, if you hold in good energy in, what, what you perceive to be good energy, mm -hmm. you got to let it out so you can get better energy in. Or when you hold a negative energy in, you got to let it out so, so you, get so, so you can get in, good energy in. So, Hell just yeah. let it, hey, 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 listen, man, that's the problem, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's, if I love you, I love you, bro. Yeah, like, like, it, about that, it. Yeah, yeah, that, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to fuck you. I just yeah. love you, my nigga. Because that's what people are so. Yeah. That that's two things that happen. People associate love with sex. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And them two things are completely not different. Exclusive. Yeah. yeah so because yeah, with you, me, I used to always gotta put the nigga. I gotta love you, nigga. Uh, I love you, dog. Like, I can't yeah, say yeah. I love you too, and then like I gotta be tough with it. Like I'm, yeah, I'm stopping you, that but, now, though. But yeah. but you ain't showing them tough love, so you ain't gotta be tough with it. You <laughs> exactly. you you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Showing a nigga tough love, you ain't gonna tell him you love him. You yeah. gonna slap him or something. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. you love your dogs, man. You better tell them because no. it's gonna be one day you wish you yeah. could. For sure. You know so the way we do it, man, we try to exclude the the obvious, dog. Like I said, mom, pops, kids, wife. We try to go with somebody, you know, saying they wouldn't expect the love, dog. So if y'all got somebody in mind. Go ahead. If not, I can start it off. You can start you it can off. Start it off. Just follow suit. Know. Okay, now, you know, I grew up, I told y'all on the show, I, I got two brothers. Yeah. Right. No sisters, whatever, dog. So for this one, I'm going to show two people love, man. My my wife, her stepsister, which is uh, Day Day, and um, her cousin is Farron. I grew up, I never had sisters, dog. Right, yeah, yeah. Day Day sound like she raw. What's up, Day Day? We're one of the You know what I'm saying? No, she good people, so it's like. I finally had like some sisters I can kick it with and talk to and stuff like that. And um, shit, without my wife being there, I can call, chop yeah, it right, up, right, right. hang, and everything. It seemed like you really found a real family with your wife's dog, family, dog. Sure. Like that's yeah, dope, yeah, man. Yeah, and that's, that's why I think, yeah. dog. Like I think that was something. Like my mom must have like motherfucker shot them in my life or something. Cause, yeah, like, and stuff like that happened. Yeah, because I always family has always been first for me, dog. And when I lost so many people in our family, that was like the motherfucker, Staples. the top. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And when they go, it's like, dog. What? Family kind of disappearing. And, but that's what we say about energy, you know what I mean? So, 
because uh, you mentioned your mom like that could be your mom energy resurfacing in mm -hmm. your life the love she had for you for sure. because like when we heard your story like how now uh your your son got people he can call grandparents yep. like he didn't he gained he gained all of them people by a decision that you made yeah. and that's why we think decisions are so important Man. and that's why we don't look at nothing negatively so Everybody in this room one day not gonna be here, mm -hmm. but what you leave your mark that you leave on people will always be here. Oh hell yeah! You feel what I'm saying? So the the mark your mom left on you was nothing but love. Oh yeah. So that's what was replaced. That's when we how I look at it like oh damn this nigga got a whole nother family. Yeah, no. you had to lose your mind for that to happen, but did you really lose her? Because yeah. that energy swept everything that you needed, not that you wanted, mm -hmm. in your life at the same time. So it's yeah. like I don't look at losses. You feel hell what yeah. I'm saying? That's you even know, with people. Some good motherfuckers. Because right. <laughs> you say that shit got me want to go ahead and run some suicides and stuff. Like, <laughs> I need you. To, I need you. Like, we don't go through shit, dog. I just need some words real quick, dog. It's and real, like, that, up, man. Like, 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 we accessible, bro. Like, yeah. anybody who got my number, like, yeah. use at, it. At one time, I had the same phone number down there going on the 20 ball. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I just got rid of the phone not too long ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But anybody. Got our number is to use, bro. Yeah. I never look at the phone and the nigga calling like, oh, what this nigga won't he ain't called it. You know what I'm saying? You might not hear from a nigga. The nigga might be like, dog, I just was thinking, man, just what you got going on, bro. Yeah, for sure. And, you you know need that some time, dog. So who you want to salute, bro? Call, but man. real quick though, yeah. with Farron though, I, I give her a major props because, like I said, she took my son to the mall the other day, just bought him some shit for his birthday. Knew he was gonna be out of town for Christmas and shit. She she looked out. Yeah. That's what's you know what I'm saying? So yeah. shout out to uh, Day Day, motherfucking OG Thug, and <laughs> Farron and shit, dog. <laughs> I just got to see Day Day. Show yeah. me a picture, dog. Anybody yeah. named Day Day. It's, it's all gangster. It's all gangster. Because you know that's one of them unisex names. Yeah, so, Day Day can go either yeah. way. That's one of them unisex names. You know what, though, man? I'm a, I am got to give it to my man, Ty Mopkins, bro. And he just called me while you was uh, talking and okay. shit. Because we was going to see if he could call in. Because he just he he ain't coming out, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's real. But that's my man. And we've been like... I just was we always together even even if it's uh electronically so we might be on the app but that's my man a lot yeah. of people got love for him and respect for him but like I know this man personally yeah, yeah. you feel what I'm saying like he bought my oldest daughter her first polo. Okay. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, yeah. his wife, his son, I, his we, daughter, his like, daughter, his like family. It, that's family. And like I wish people would just know, like this, this a good, just a good brother. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, take we the had fashion some, and all that shit away. Like, yeah, it's a good one. And yeah. we had some fun times, man. We yeah. you feel, we used to work together. And we used <laughs> yeah. to have some motherfucking fun. But this how I knew that that was my dog because I left. We used to work at Puffer Reds, right? Yeah. I left first, right? So when I left. I say, man, listen, dog, you want to come over here? I went to Villa, but yeah. you know, they was based in Philadelphia. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I said, you want to come over here? He said, see what they got for me. So, yeah. you know, I put some strings because as I was rising in the ranks, you know, my word was getting stronger with the company. Yeah. I tell them right there, look, this is the nigga. Yeah, yeah, you understand sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the nigga. You talking fashion, you talking, yeah. this is the nigga. Him and my nigga RJ, right? Yeah. So, they, you know, they made an offer, but they wanted him to move from Philly. He said, I got to do it from here. So he ended up going to Mr. Allen's and shit. Yeah. And he say, nigga, you want to come over here? Yeah. So I say, shit, <laughs> this is what I want because they was getting paid every week. Yeah. And I'm an every weeker if I got to work yeah. a job. Yeah. I say, this is what I want. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? He's he Because he, we don't got to do nothing. We go straight to the owners at the time. He went sure. straight to Jake, bitch ass. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> We, we having, like, conversations back and forth and shit, so I just told the nigga, like, look, you feel me? Because sometimes you got to know you good at something, sure. and you got to talk that Hell shit, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? So, Hell like, yeah. I remember my last conversation before I got hired, I said, look, to be very frank, I ain't coming to sit down with you no more. I'm I'm great at what I do yeah. at this time of my life, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's either a yes or a no, and this is what I want. I don't want a penny less. I don't care how other people's shit structure. This is what you get from me. Mm -hmm. So, right before I left, right before I walk out, I say, damn, man, I got to hurt. So my man, he, now he the owner of the company. Yeah. He say, what? I said that you drove past Grand River and Greenfield so many times in your life. Yeah. And some motherfuckers came from out of town. Yeah. And the nigga who, well, not the nigga, because I don't say, you know what I'm saying? But the person who responsible for their biggest store yeah. sitting right here. Yeah, and you sure. got to think about if you want them. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> I called Ty. Told her what I said. <laughs> 
Hey, I just told that nigga. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, before I got to the crib, he called me though. Yeah. You feel me? When you want to start, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm saying. So that's when I knew me and Ty like it's that deep. Like if if it's if it's a better opportunity and yeah. what you do here, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got now that I've been at this company. Right, I got on, a better yeah. opportunity. Yeah. You come on. You feel and what that's I'm saying? how shit work, dog. Between black people, especially like we gotta look out for each other, dog. It'd be too many crabs in a barrel type of mentality. Well, crabs right? don't belong in a barrel, bro. That that's first and foremost. Yeah. Crabs yeah. don't belong in a oh, no, barrel. Sure. So putting crabs in a barrel, so you go that, you go get the reaction that God you get damn. every time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like yeah, when yeah. people no, say right. shit, you gotta think about the shit that they saying and the terms yeah. that they using because yeah. vocabulary is so important, oh, yeah. man. You but know lot, what I'm but saying? Yeah, a lot of times we don't want to see somebody shine because we not shining. No, and now, but that's, I, that's, 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 I've no. never, you know what I'm saying? I, so I, I got. I agree with you a lot of shit though. But that's, but that's but that's but that's that was put in you though. Yeah, like that was like well, I, I feel like if you think that way, do something to change it. I feel yeah, that way, yeah, yeah. but I try to change it because if my dog, for instance, if he blowing up or he my family, so I don't give like I'm happy. My dog Lance, that's my homeboy. He blowing up, I'm happy. Like it ain't. But I, I think it it's because more I may be. You know, in the background, like doing my Tito, yeah. and you know what I'm saying. But but Tito like, was just as important as Mike, bro. Oh, yeah. No Tito, no Mike. No Jackson yeah. Five. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like people got to understand, like a lot of this shit is to show people that it's you can doable, do, bro. Oh, yeah. You Hell feel yeah. what I'm saying? Think about where people come from, like. Uh, it, until somebody do it, you don't even think it's possible from you to for somebody to do true, it from your true. neighborhood. Yeah. You feel me? We from Eastern Michigan. That's the most important six point two miles in the universe yeah. because uh, so much shit came from there that and people not just, just don't not know. Not just entertainment. Not bro. entertainment. The like, best surgeon in the world taught itself how to do surgery yeah. in a house in Eastern Michigan, and now he got buildings at the University of Michigan yeah, named yeah. after him. At you one point, the, the the co-director of NASA was a fee, a black female from Eastern yeah. Michigan. Yeah. At another point, the, the, the vice president of the National Hockey League's Players Association was a white guy from Eastern yeah. Michigan. Like, the, the first person to ever receive the most valuable player in the National League from baseball is from Eastern Michigan. Yeah. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just so much shit. You Olympic know. athletes, all that, yeah, bro. You sure, know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, yeah. But but I want to give my dog Norman Steele his flowers. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's uh, Steele off the Gangster Chronicles, man. Like, ever since he ever had a conversation with us, mm-hmm. it's always been, like, it was just so respectful and all that. Like, so we end up, he runs the Digital Soapbox Network. You know what okay. I'm saying? He run the, he, the Gangster Chronicles is his brainchild. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, the first time we went to Cali when we was podcasting and whatever, we ain't even meet him. Yeah. Like, we, 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 we kept missing each we other. We kept missing each other because yeah. his son is a football star at USC. So okay. it was a lot going on at the time you know yeah. what i'm saying but always showed us love sure. always showed us respect and he always he, he ain't never played us as they got bigger mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying he always exactly. keep us yeah, in the mix yeah, so yeah, i gotta yeah. i gotta shout out my dog norman Steele. you know yeah, what man, I'm I think this and is, he a funny ass nigga yeah, too. Funny. <laughs> and he an ohio nigga for real you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, like yeah, so west in this yeah, it's yeah. a bill west thing you but know i always think this is an important uh segment of the show because like it just it's just good to hear People give people love, dog, and not sure. be like, cause it, it's easy to come over here like, yeah, love my mama. You know, you always yeah, mom yeah, gonna be go to, yeah. dad might be go to, your wife or your kids gonna be go to, but who else beyond beyond them is like somebody who you got love for and you want to let them know before you know what I'm saying before it's happened. over. Before it's over. Yeah, 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 I think I feel like all the people I fuck with know I fuck with them. I, I like love, like I love a lot of motherfuckers and shit, and I feel like they all know. And it's different levels, it's, it's different, different levels types of love. You, it's different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But while we on the subject, man, let me uh, uh people that we love and shit. I just want to give uh, my cousin Lavelle a shout out today. His birthday, he passed away oh, shit, in uh, 2015. That's who on my shirt. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so right. that's why when you offered me some liquor, I said no. I'm gonna get some Jaeger because Cuz was one of the first rappers yeah. with an endorsement from Jaeger. Okay, so okay. when I get to the crib, I'm going to go have some Jaeger, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's also my Uncle Terry birthday, okay. who also passed away. And I didn't find out that they had the same birthday yeah. until my uncle died. Damn. Because my uncle was a jail nigga. Yeah, so yeah, it ain't yeah, like yeah. we spent birth, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like you knew us, yeah. And then, uh, I got to say a big rest in peace shout out to my Uncle Junior Lewis. He just died a couple uh, days ago, but oh, man, Junior true. Lewis is the person who introduced my mom and my daddy to each other on Spruce oh, Street in the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, got it. Rest in peace, Dudes, happy birthday to yeah, the two. Yeah, so uh, I can't wait to get to the crib. I'm going like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I got my shrimp. I, I'm, I'm going to get some fried shrimp. Cuz yeah. was a vegan at the end of his life because he yeah. uh he had mouth cancer, man, like okay. in his jaw or whatever. And uh, yeah. the doctor told him he wasn't going to live for a year. What he told him? He had, he had six, a, months, six months to live. A year later, he had a son. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then he died right before his son. So he died in April uh, 2015. His son turned one in May 2015. That's Little man. Lavelle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Little Lavelle is actually the last male Jackson. Okay. That's the, that's well, uh, you know what, though? Technically, yeah, but uh, Angel's son, last name Jackson, too. 
Lavelle yeah. will still be the last one because he's younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the youngest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm youngest, saying. the youngest last yeah. name, Jackson. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, okay. we got to keep him. Like, I talk, like, so, I, I used to be a Muslim. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And every Friday for like two and a half years, three years, mm -hmm. I would see my cousin every Friday because he lived around the corner from the mass jail. You know okay. what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I took my cousin and his wife to the doctor when they found out they was yeah. pregnant or for their first checkup. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember which one it was, but he knew I was coming over that Friday. Yeah, for so sure. he made the shit that Friday. And he died on um, the Monday after the Easter in, two, um, two, in 2015. Yeah. And me and my sister was about to go over there, but my sister hadn't ever seen him. Like, he had yeah. to wear a mask and shit because his jaw yeah, was yeah, fucked yeah. up. I know somebody who was like that. Yeah, yeah so. Because yeah, it kind of eat away. It, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But he, he it's because of him I don't use the microwave. I really got off the fried foods for real and all that shit. But I said today I'm going to go grab me some fish, yeah, shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Got my down. joints rolled up. Yeah. Got me some Jaeger, so that's I'm gonna do time, that for like cuz. One time I might hit the blunts when you know my mom's birthday because she was a heavy smoker. Yeah, yeah. you said yeah. weed yeah. and coffee. Well, you yeah. walked yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You know, I'm, you know, I blow on July 10th for something for uh, these fools around with some weed, whatever. Yeah, man. is July 10th Auntie Kim's birthday or is the ninth? I don't know. It's a lot of birthdays yeah. that's floating around us. That's yeah, the yeah. that's around the same yeah, thing, yeah. dog. Yeah. But sure, man, before we get into y'all story and y'all come up and everything, man. Is this the last podcast of the year? You yeah, know for saying? sure. We appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, people always act like, you know, I can't wait till this shit's over. Guess what? July 1st, I mean, January 1st of 2021. <laughs> it's not going to be It's still going to be Corona. Yeah. <laughs> and shit's yeah. still going to be fucked well, up. Well, this is the best year of my life, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is the best That's year of my life. That's what I'm going to ask y'all. Yeah. Like, what's... what's Give me some highs, some lows of 2020. If there's no lows, the, I, the low, The low is having to go back to work after being... Okay, so... When the year had started, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. had told myself that I needed some time off, yeah. but I didn't want to take the hit on taking the medical at work. And, you you know, medical yeah. only be like $525, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying, a sure. week. We grown-ups and shit. Yeah, we grown-ups. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I, but I come from, if I, I work at the plant, bro. So, if I go to work six days, seven days a week, I could bring mm -hmm. home three racks it, 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 it sometimes type of shit. You know, you you know how I be. Huh? <laughs> oh my nigga, if it, I toss you my referral when they when they say they're ready, and every yeah. time I toss somebody my I mean, referral, they, get, they picked. get picked and never go through with the rest of. Oh, bro, shit. on some one hundred shit. After we left and you was talking about your job and shit, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna give him my referral next yeah. time we get one, oh, cause I don't be knowing who to get them yeah. bitches to, and you know what I'm saying. And it, so I told myself like, yo. I need some time off, right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then boom, bro, March hit. I ain't have to take a medical. Yeah. I, I got time Tell off. Me. I ain't miss no money. Got yep. to spend time with the family. Yep, you know what sure. I'm saying? So I, that then everything, like the podcast started popping more. The book, like I won no award for writing a book, all yeah. that. So I ain't got no complaints about 2020 because I'm going to be 100. Motherfuckers go die anyway. Yeah. People like, oh, everybody die. Away. We can't even say that the most people died in 2020. Yeah. Like, period. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of that is just like the propaganda. Yeah, yeah, like I'm, propaganda. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, yeah, it's fucked up because people dying of, of what they saying is the same thing. But mm -hmm. technically, we don't know that. We don't. Like, this all propaganda. And when you start looking at tv and all of that shit for what it's worth mm -hmm. which is nothing yeah you feel what i'm saying <laughs> you get to understand yeah. how this shit works and, and a saying? great example of that is for every nigga who hate fox news is white people who hate cnn it's yeah. just the same thing it's yeah. just your preference of your programming for sure. so you know what i'm saying but 2020 been good to me yeah. bro i mean like shit like I can't get play. Listen, man, my wife. I mean, my uh, my wife and my daughter just had Corona. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah, they healthy. They good. They good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like worried if they was. Gonna and die. you didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, that's I how that sounds crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like like me and my daughter yeah. was like Went sharing together. a thermometer. Yeah. The, Days the day before, before. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Got tested. She had it. I didn't. But yeah. I told her that I was sick and she wasn't. Yeah. So when she went to quarantine, lying. yeah. So she could, yeah. So because yeah, I didn't want to, like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I feel you. That, that yeah. was a dad move. That was yeah, a yeah, lie. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was a lie. But it was a dad yeah. lie. Yeah. Dad yeah. lie. Like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. But it's been great for me, man. I can't complain, bro. I won't complain. Like, what about you, AJ, man? The same thing, bro. It's been great. I work from the crib. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I work downtown and shit. So shit, I, I was like, yo, when I work from the crib it was like lovely like you know what i'm saying i get to spend more time with with my children i got two daughters and uh yeah. one of them nine and one of them five my nine-year-old about to be 10 in april okay. and april what, uh 22nd okay my brother this? birthday april 15th oh, okay yeah <laughs> so it like not having to travel for work yeah. <laughs> excuse me 
that that that's make you hour. take the insurance yeah, off. You the feel car. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I don't got insurance on my shit. I ain't even. I only drive my shit to the gas station now. Shit, cause yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I got to spend more time with them, cause like I'm a cool ass father, and they love having me around. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But like we just had some great wins, like with 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 his book award. Like it's a gold medal. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? And a plaque. Okay. And, and a plaque. It out yet. All of that yeah. shit, and oh, like yeah. all of that shit is like dope. You feel me? Cause yeah, we yeah. would have been there because anytime we nominated for something, yeah, yeah, we go. It don't matter what that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we go to that. Yeah, shit. we would have been there. So you know it's a, so it's I heard like y'all get y'all work from that. No, we didn't. But you know the, the award. The award is people. This the award because we got to get connected and shit like that. You feel no, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I was saying because I remember he was supposed to get his and he was waiting. That's why I, I know y'all yeah, said yeah. right, right. But but the award for us was we actually just, got to yeah, connect with some there. people. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, for sure. Yeah. And, and Hopefully plus, she has said this hard shit like that. You you never know. Yeah, she, you yeah, can't yeah, count yeah. nobody out. But yeah, shit, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. we didn't get it. Yeah, but y'all know. No, no. Okay, okay. I said this. We earned it. We didn't receive it. You know what I'm saying? We received an actual award, but we earned it. You know what I'm saying? That was a good way of looking at it. Yeah. But no, I say the same thing as far as like the highs and lows and stuff, man. I, I say more highs, a lot of highs this year for me, man. The podcast and shit, episode 52 right now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? That's a like, year. Yeah. 52 weeks. Yeah, you man. For sure. Saying? That's a and year. And we've been getting, you know what I'm saying? I've been meeting a lot of dope people. Yeah. Um, had my daughter. Uh, my, got married. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You're going to have to start leading with that. You always put that to the back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, uh, won a championship, basketball for my right, team. Right, right. Like, yeah. It was just a lot of dope shit, though. So I can't complain. Really, man. People who feel like they was having a bad year was already fucking up a phone. Yeah, like that's <laughs> like like. Like, if a motherfucker had to sit looking at any time they had to spend with their family or who mm. they perceived to love as, as, as a problem, like, like this is the time where you, you got to see how them hoes you fuck with really yeah. don't even know they kids. Yeah, for sure. Really don't, Make you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, you, you got to see how a motherfucker really just trash and they depending <laughs> on other motherfuckers <laughs> no, listen, to heard, feed them and shit like that. I heard, you know I I heard a lady on the, uh, on the dude say, like, I, I got six kids. Like, who's supposed to? You supposed yeah, to. Yeah, ain't no who's you supposed, supposed to. Know, you shit. supposed to. Like, right. what are you? You mean yeah, like you, even with but like even with like motherfuckers like it, only in America is a McDonald's worker essential. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't even make sense. Yeah, no. They deserve to be at the house with no, their family no. too and all of that. But yeah. a lot of people who saying that it was a bad year because such and such died and all that like remove the emotions from that because yeah. people was gonna die this year anyway. Yeah, for sure. People was go. Uh, this was people's best year. They never had this much money. Motherfuckers yeah. was. Working, I mean, not working, getting unemployment, making yeah. way more money, and I yeah. felt that because yeah. I pay into unemployment and yeah. all of that yeah. shit. Yeah. I didn't feel like I feel like everybody deserved just to relax yeah. and I don't yeah. take like a breath. Like, yeah, with the whole and then, like I said, I had to, the only thing I didn't like was doing interviews uh, through uh, IG. Yeah, see, and we, see, we wouldn't do that. Do that. Yeah, we we refused to do that, and yeah. that's what we yeah. were saying earlier. The cue, like we stash for the drotters, and you know what I'm saying. And we can say that because first of all, we made that term up. Futter, yeah. futter, yeah, stash, yeah. futter, drop. Yeah. That's our first album, right? You feel the sense? Stash Hostile for the drop. Yeah, but and and like. We wouldn't do an interview through Zoom. We, I mean, we don't feel like we lose out on nothing because yeah. what's for us go be for us. But what it do when everybody was doing that, it lessen the quality of the shows. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You don't get the same emotion as yeah, me sitting yeah, here feeling what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, like, like, I don't want to. I work from the crib every meeting through Zoom. You think the la- the next thing I want yeah, exactly. to do is interview a motherfucker? Yeah, 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 I don't even sure. turn. Listen, I don't even be on the computer unless I have to because of that shit. But yeah, I had to switch my, you know, my f- frame of thought. Like, I'm gonna be on the computer. Computer for me versus being on a computer for them. Fuck yeah, them. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Because sure. they don't yeah. give a fuck. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's man. just what it is. So man, you know, shit, we didn't, shit, we didn't talk good before we even got to y'all story <laughs> though. That's <laughs> why so I knew it was gonna be a dope interview with y'all, man. So y'all from Eastern Michigan? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all Born grew up. Y'all twins and stuff, man. Just give me. Give me your life, man. How was it? The crib, mom and dad, other siblings. Like how was uh, yeah. it? Man? So, uh, like I was just saying, my uncle Junior Lewis introduced my mama and my daddy mm-hmm. on Spruce Street in the projects yeah. in Saigon so you know what I'm saying my my grandfather so the way Inkster set up right across the street from the Saigon projects one side of the street is Inkster one yeah. side of the street is Westland, Westland yeah. my mother lives on the Westland side of the street yeah. my grandfather provided excellent for them uh, they had horses they had guard in the grow yeah. your own food love everybody it. loved allegiance you know yeah. what I'm saying my dad on the other hand his side of the family they was 
project mm. niggas. Yeah, they were street yeah, niggas. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. but my mom was a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Not not, not lazy, hard working. My granddaddy and still yeah, so yeah, And when we say hustler, that's what we mean. Because most people uh, no, because hustling on the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot yeah, of people yeah, assume yeah, that. Been going to the nine five every day, making money. Yeah, that's a hustler. Yeah, yeah. So my my grandfather and still that and uh my mom or whatever. My mom and dad they got married. Like Hella 16, early. 17 years old. You oh, know what wow, I'm saying? Yeah. And they had my older sister, Kiwana, first. You know okay. what I'm saying? Then three years later, 1982, May 26th. Mm-hmm. So we was a birthday gift to my dad. Like in his real bir- life, his birthday, his birthday May, 23rd. May 23rd. Our oh, birthday, May 22nd. Oh, shit, we yeah. were supposed to be born May 23rd, yeah. but my mama had to have a cesarean. Okay, okay. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So when you said your girl, was, your wife was having that C-section, yeah. boo, <laughs> I feel that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, you know sure, what I'm saying? So, um... One of us was gonna die, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was blocking the birth canal and shit. Yeah, so, so we literally like was born at the like they, so they had the one, two, three grab us out at the same time. But I was born at seven thirty. He was born at seven thirty one. Yeah. I pissed in the doctor's face. You know what I'm saying? That's a real story. <laughs> yeah, my, you know what I'm saying? They told my dad you gonna have some trouble out of that one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that's how I started. I came in pissing people off. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like so, life, and that's man. a real story. That sounds crazy, but yeah. that's a real story. Yeah. So man, growing he, up, he probably tell that story to people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So growing up, man, we I don't, I, I don't I, look. I feel like we had, had a good great, childhood. Yeah, like, yeah. I, listen, bro. I'm not. I'd be lying if I, we tell you we come from nothing. Like mm-hmm. my grandfather worked hard to mm-hmm. show us what he showed us. My dad and my mom worked hard. Yeah. I don't got the. I wanted some Jordan so I can't have them. We've been working since we was yeah. five years old, bro. Yeah. So we literally could buy what we want if we yeah. had enough money. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So every all the trouble and shit we got into, we yeah. did that. But my yeah. parents knew what they was creating when they yeah. created yeah. us. That's yeah. what I was saying. I right? feel like they knew based on who my parents are, they yeah. knew what they was in for. For sure. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And and we probably we probably surprised them. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because like nobody like you know what kind of child you'll have like oh this motherfucker like my daughter when I look at my daughter okay yeah she gonna be on some brat princess type of she the only child she the youngest grandchild on her mother's side and the only girl in the family since my since my wife so my wife was the youngest daughter Uh and then she had years later the only girl in the family. Yeah, that's crucial. So, so, yeah. you, already so you, already, you already know so what that's You know what you're getting. Like, you, you really think you can tell like how somebody gonna grow up by just looking at them as yeah, a child? Man, yeah, yeah, man. Like, yeah. I, like my my oldest daughter, man. She like so reserved. Like mm-hmm. she she go in her room, lock in to mm-hmm. what she into. She in the drawing and shit and, and photography and shit. That's now. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So she just go lock in yeah, off of that. For sure. And yeah, if she needs something, of, yeah. she'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Not my five year old. Yeah. She's a little wilder. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? She running through the crib. She think the living room. Her, she thinks oh, yeah, my room. Sure. And, uh, that's my, my, uh, that's room how my four year old is. You man. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, this my shit. Like, yeah. and now we we had to tell him, no, this the common <laughs> area, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't put your stuff in yeah. the common area. Yeah. You feel me? Right now, when I go to the crib, I'm gonna have to say, get, clean your stuff up five times. No, but yeah. this shit ain't getting done, sure. right? Yeah, but that, sure. but I know she gonna be the type to be like. Uh, and then they the same age. Yeah. My daughter and his daughter go because my daughter age. they okay. for like three months. So uh, I know she gonna be like, yeah. Uh, so when she it's time for her to get married, yeah. she gonna be like, let me run that past my daddy. Yeah. Like, see if he like it. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, her yeah. nigga go be like, I beat your daddy ass. <laughs> yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, Come on, don't on. cry. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? I said to I said to my wife all the time. He gonna say that to her so much that she gonna be like, hey, just go try this. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And she gonna help me if he beats yeah. her way. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, get this nigga. <laughs> and then my oldest daughter, she just she just reserved, man. Yeah. Like, don't raise her voice. But I, but we knew that when I when she was yeah. little, I seen it. Like, oh, she just stick to herself. And it's crazy as you said, because that's how my oldest son is. He's super chill, smart than a mug. Oh my just god, chill is he know he super chill. Like, stay to himself. Ain't too loud. Don't cause no problems. Like, I, total opposite. Like, my, listen, I had to. My daughter, <laughs> listen, man. Like, because this is crazy. Like. I just seen like my daughter was so reserved that we had to put her in Tung Sudo, which yeah. is a martial art, and he in there too. I had to put her in that because I told her they're going to try you if she beautiful or yeah. here, long down to here. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. they go try you. Yeah. You got to give, like, just give them what they hate. And sure, like, don't, hey, I, well, I we told her, once never you tell kick you. them up, don't tell nobody you know it. Yeah. The, I don't care what grade you in. Yeah. The first time you spin kick a motherfucker in the face, that's you will it. not go no, have no problems no, forever for the so, rest of your high school right. career. No, you, you can do that at shit all. in sixth grade. At and motherfucker be like, 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 that bitch who kicked him in the face. Yeah. 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 She don't miss the drawing. Leave her alone. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right. You feel so, what I'm saying? So I feel like you. I feel like our parents knew what they was getting and shit. And we was we was hella active. So like we twins, right? We identical twins. So when we was little, we talked to each other. We had our own language. Our own language. Like my my mom's brother. Listen, this 
this shit is so crazy. My mom brother <laughs> was getting married. It's my uncle Kevin. Yeah. That's that's uh, my granddad's oldest son. He right. just turned sixty. Yeah, he just turned sixty. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? On the eighteenth. <laughs> He he was getting married, right? And we used to have our own language. And we had a word for shit, yeah. right? And my auntie said that through the whole ceremony, because it wasn't a lot of people there, yeah. but through the whole ceremony, we kept saying back and forth the word we had for shit. Mm-hmm. And she said that she felt like that that marriage was going to be some bullshit, because that's all yeah, we were saying. saying you feel what I'm saying? I ain't going to say it was, because I oh, wasn't in the okay. household. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Because what people perceive and what's really going on it's and, too, what's, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. what's happening. You feel for what sure, I'm saying? But sure. she just said she felt like that. But yeah. she a girl and somebody marrying her older brother. Yeah, you feel yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah like, why man, you take it? You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, we like... Hold on. Now, you said y'all identical twins, though. Let me ask you this question, man, because like, you know, you twins always super tight. And growing up, was there ever times that y'all kind of like bump heads on some shit? All the bump time. heads all the time. Come on, man. We used, to play, we used to play <laughs> the best shit in the world. We used to have them, uh, play basketball on the uh, hanger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nigga, we'll take it there. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We'll That's how we learned about March Madness. Yeah, because watching that shit. Playing thing. on the hanger. Yeah, we ain't yeah. know yeah. what it is. So, so y'all ever got like, man, we got square up. Like, some good One square. time, dog, this nigga punched me the hardest that i ever been punched. And I done been into some fights. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That nigga rocked my shit. I was like, stop. Yeah, grabbed his face. It just stopped me in the middle. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, nigga, you was bad. But he always been a little angrier than me. You feel yeah, I came in this bitch pissing. Just, just look at it. See, like he's the an angry one. He the happy one. No, right? dog, I'm not angry at all, dog. Yeah, yeah, Cause like, even what I was saying with this COVID shit, like me and my wife, we laughing and shit, cause like motherfuckers really ain't like they spouse and shit. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, people yeah. mad cause they had to stay in the house. Yeah. People like, mad cause they got to fuck at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, people really don't like who no. they thought they see, that's what they or their kids or like they don't like the shit that, that that's in they like like yeah. and when you sit sit down and think like that like damn you always gonna be mad you always gonna feel like that yeah. because you walking in the house and you hate this shit yeah, you know I'm good. What I'm as long saying? as I got as long as I can watch the NBA I got motherfucking cable and stuff yeah. like we good man like, right but even that like eat like with I, me like I love my family dog and spend time and talking with that, my wife. yeah 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 and, and that's what I think I feel like a lot of motherfuckers just didn't know no. who they was with bro. yeah yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, sure. like I always say, like I'm going on year 13 and shit. I had like 10 good ones, but that wasn't 10 in a row. But <laughs> when, once we found out, like what, like the communication, that's mm-hmm. what I was telling you on the show. Like once you find out y'all communication yeah. and shit, it ain't no stopping that. Yeah, you feel sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. even other married motherfuckers, when they see that, they will start hating, man. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I got married friends, and I don't hate on nobody, and I don't think none of my married friends hate on me. And I'm like, because they communication must be in order. Yeah. We don't never look at a couple like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, saying? yeah. That's because people whack. don't suck a shit like that. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? But like we put in our work in the streets, though, man, on some turf shit. Oh, like you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But that. That all was us yeah. growing up though so like uh my grandfather we asked him to buy us some toys one time he told us no yeah. but we can earn our own money he showed us how to earn our own sure, money sure. by uh working in the garden that he had you know what i'm saying that's great because my granddad stayed in sherwood forest yeah. uh, on the west side yeah. over by living noise in eight mile and he was the same way i if i asked him for some money dog he would never give it to me <laughs> right right go, but yeah, that- what you want he go get it and i had to like earn it show him a report card or something and he had uh, y'all said garden he had dog ass garden uh, no no, no, no. This, this is like a garden. This, 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 this a plantation uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like if i this showed a you quarter this acre Oh, you shit. feel what I'm saying? Uh, we, we would have to water till that bitch. Damn, damn. We had corn. We had corn on the far side. Come uh, around, greens, green beans, peas, cucumbers, cucumbers tomatoes. tomatoes. The tomatoes uh, would be in the front on the left. Yeah. We had Squash. an apple tree. That's how yeah. we know uh, yeah. the fruit yeah. don't fall far from the tree because yeah. we grew up with apple trees. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> But people hear that, that and they don't ever yeah. really think about how true that is. Yeah. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So, all of that shit. All of that shit. And, um, we, we, were, like, we was with it, man. It was fun. It was fun, but sometimes you hated it but mm-hmm. if you want that cheese man you know what i'm saying like and, we, and, and you know what else he taught us though to take pride in what you do yeah. you feel what i'm saying when you put some shit in the ground and you once you start learning it and start understanding like the, okay it's time to plant the squat the process and, and all of that shit yeah. like you you be like you, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I yeah. Did that. Sure. and, and, and it, it showed us the value of hard work like yeah. we we all we didn't even know we was working hard we just knew that to earn his money, this yeah. what we gotta do. You and know see, that go back to what you were saying when you went there and demanded a price. Like I'm making this shit because you know your work because you yeah. shit, you be working hard since you were fucking five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you know we what you giving to the motherfucker to, to, the, the, company. to the company. Right, yeah. like I'm three years uh, past my retirement in in the workforce because I've been working since I was five. I'm 38, so yeah. I, I gave these bitches three more years. <laughs> yeah. You know, what I'm saying? they tell you you gotta work sure. 30 years. They don't say what 30. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, I'm about to retire. Nigga, what? I'm oh, oh for sure, I'm about to retire. We about to retire from the workforce. 
right pretty top so. of the year yeah, or at so. the end of the year. Like Man. before that that's just the vision. There's always been a goal and, and people you should laugh and I'm saying like this is a reverse retirement. Cause people why would you work until you old and then you only got five yeah, years to go? live and kick yeah, it. Yeah. I'm living now. I'm kicking it now. Yeah. I ain't I ain't like <laughs> saying you like you do that you i'm saying that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> you feel what i'm saying yeah. and motherfuckers don't understand that shit. no you for sure hell yeah that's why me and sugar good night about to retire very soon <laughs> man. we got some shit about to happen dog yeah. i'm right, gonna get some admin right listen, now hey man too. listen man like we with it we support y'all 100 yeah, percent. whatever sure. if you got a call and ask just one call. hey man you remember blah yeah. and that might be the boom yeah. my man's and them said this so we know to look for that because yeah. we, we've been through it out here yeah, we've been all the way out here now we you know you touched on um doing music and stuff like that but every time on the show it don't matter what you what your what your uh what your um craft is music always play a part of your life yeah, and it sure. always come from your parents dog so what's some shit that y'all was hearing just through mom and dad playing some shit on a good saturday morning making boozy collins boozy, we prince babies we boozy collins yeah. babies. i can't tell you nothing about michael jackson yeah. i can't tell you nothing about none of that you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying my mom was playing Munchies for your love. When Doves Cry is my favorite song oh, yeah, to yeah, this yeah. day. Like Doves Cry. I, I, I take, <laughs> hey, my, hey, my nigga, I take that bitch back a million times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Purple Rain, my favorite movie. Looking at my fucking uh, Apollonia titties and all of that. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? This is, but this was shit. Like yeah. my like, accessible. Yeah, it was accessible. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Boosie Collins, Prince. Them two uh, stick out the most. most. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? But she is. You that got shit too short. Jones, too yeah, short. That's my what mama. I told my wife at, during the verses and yeah. shit. My too mama put, put me up, up on too short. short. You no, feel and you know what? Yeah. I always get like I get West Coast vibes from y'all. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. But they say. The Bay and fucking Detroit like cousins. Yeah, so I guess Inkster would be like Richmond. Yeah. Because yeah. Oakland is like a bigger city. Detroit, so they say yeah. Detroit and Oakland, Oakland. is cousins. So. And then Richmond is like ooh, that 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 city you go to, the smaller city with yeah. the shit. So yeah. I guess Inkster would be like Richmond to Detroit's yeah. Oakland. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Most, yeah, because my dad was big on Prince. And my cousin, his name was uh, Joey. I don't really know him too much. I've seen him a couple of times. Yeah. But they say he was a part of Prince band. Oh, straight up. Oh, he home. can play. So he yeah, can play. Yeah. But I think he got kicked out the band because he was still yeah. yeah, that's your daddy brother. You know, cousin. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, oh, so, so that's believable. Yeah, yeah. Joe, I think Joey done fucked up the yeah, sack. Yeah. You know so I think yeah, he stole some shit, dog. And you know, there was some Jehovah's Witnesses over there, so over at Prince Camp. Yeah. So you know, what I'm saying? so hey. no, so like he was a part of that. But my dad was big oh. on Prince, dog, and. You gotta be a real nigga, be able to dance with some heels on and get the hoes. Like, listen, listen, man, dog, Prince turned out the baddest bad bitches. Yeah, yeah, Carmen Electra, all them. Oh, Prince like, turned them bitches out. You know what I'm so saying? <clears throat> You say those two that stand out, Boosie Collins and uh, Prince. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, too short. Mine too, too short, too short. Like, yeah, if yeah. I when I mean too short, I'm, I'm gonna bring them to the crib. Yeah. Like yo, man, you hell gotta yeah. meet my mama, dog. Hell yeah, you know and people laugh at me, dog, because like I said, dog, at young age, my dad. And my mom wasn't listening to no rap music. But it was, rap was new, though. Yeah. You got to think so about it. So my dad yeah. wasn't listening to Run DMC. He wasn't listening to uh, 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 Cool Hurt and all them dudes. He was listening to Motown. He was listening to Bob Marley. He was listening to motherfucking The Beatles, Rod yeah, Stewart, yeah, yeah. Sting. Like, I was hearing all this different shit. The Musicians. Only, yeah. Who the play. only rapper I ever heard, though, was Pop. Yeah, that's yeah. it, dog. So my favorite rapper, my first favorite rapper, niggas laugh at me was MC Hammer. But ain't like, nothing wrong MC with that. Like the, niggas laugh, but that was their yeah. first favorite rapper too. Bro, yeah. I could do that, nigga. I could, I could, I could do the typewriter dance. I could do yeah, all that, bro. Like I'm not a, like yeah, the big man. Listen, because niggas, this is why they laughing because they judging you from an adult's perspective of who they are now yeah. as what you liked I as a kid. a kid. Yeah, and that's what MC yeah. Hammer was for. But don't get it twisted, MC Hammer yeah. from Oakland, he yeah. with the shit. Hell you know what I'm saying? Like I think I heard Kobe would say like, "Don't fuck with Hammer." No, don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, fuck with But shit, you never heard a hammer fucking with nobody. First. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta respect it though. Like niggas always laugh. Hammer went broke. First of all, he mm. filed bankruptcy, which motherfuckers do. But mm-hmm. he took the whole neighborhood, the yeah. whole hood. Come out. see this shit. But you gotta do something. You can't just come. So when niggas got a, 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 a sixty motherfuckers dancing on stage, mm-hmm. but these sixty motherfuckers could be breaking through your window. Hell yeah. Hell you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Why you out of town on mm-hmm. tour? For sure. One of these niggas could be in and your crib. Hey, with you, yeah, making money. So Right. Yeah, so I, I I gotta respect it. I I never go for the MC Hammer slander. Hell yeah, and right. And, and niggas and niggas be clowning them. You ain't even never had enough money to file yeah. for bankruptcy. Don't, don't you hurt, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Because all does. bankruptcy is is you not having to pay your bills. Hell that's yeah. That's what it is. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? But that's a, that's another conversation because that's a stigma <laughs> in the black community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's like everything that you ever learned is being a black man, bro. You gotta unlearn that shit. Yeah. And you don't gotta relearn anything. You gotta start to learn. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Because yeah. you already was put in a situation. 
I'm 38 years old. I've been unlearning shit for the last five years. And like I said, I was on a podcast with somebody else, and I was saying, like, dog, you're never too old to, to keep learning. No, no, no. no. I'm going like, to learn to the yeah. day. Right before I take my last breath, I'm going to learn something. Yeah. I already know it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Now, if I get to share your last breath. Yeah, now, now, if I get to share what I learned, though, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But for sure, you're going to learn something. Because, like, some... even being on y'all show, learning some shit, like, you all telling me to take that shit out of my mind as far as, like, how how I perceive my death going to be because look at my dad and my yeah, take that. granddad. Listen, listen, like, bro. I told my wife, dad, my brother, like, dog, you know, these, these motherfuckers are some wise dudes. Like, <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you know, that. No, for sure. Man, like, man. And you need that shit, dog. Because I learned from this nigga. He, dog, it's, it's never too late to learn. It's never a dumb question. They, they, look, that's the dumbest thing. You can, yeah. they, to think that it's a dumb question is dumb. I'm not going to pretend. <laughs> no, I, 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 damn, I, I want to know what this nigga talk about, but I don't know what the fuck shit, he talking about. Shit, you better about. ask. You better ask. What's that shit you talking about, nigga? Listen, man. So, when we was rapping, man, and we was uh, in Baton Rouge, and C Murder yeah. wanted to sign us and yes, shit. Yeah, was rapping with Beats by the Pound. And C Murder said to us, "Where well, it was Los, not it was it wasn't even Beats by the Pound." Yeah, 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 it was C Lo Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? But C Murder had said to us, "I just signed my cousins, and it's go y'all the same age. It's gonna be hard to market y'all at yeah. the same time." Yeah, we never heard the word marketing. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or that's the first time I can remember yeah, hearing yeah, it yeah, with yeah. this. If we would have heard that word before, our yeah. careers would have been a little different because yeah. we would have been we would have looked. The first thing that Somebody didn't say marketing to us, but she she said to us, "If y'all rap like Crisscross, y'all'll make it." A plus, Crisscross, A plus, Crisscross, A plus. It was a young, the latchkey kid. His name was A plus. You know what I'm saying? I had dissed that nigga. My bad, though. I was young, though. You know what I'm saying? Nothing personal. That rap was hard too. But uh, but that was the first thing. But she was talking about marketing, though. You know what I'm saying? So when C Murder said to us that uh. I don't know how I would market that. Both groups. We're both the same, groups. Okay, We're both the same, same age. age and all. Yeah. We, we talk about the same shit. They just talk about it from a New Orleans perspective. Yeah. We talk about it from an Insta perspective. Yeah. But we talk about the same shit. So yeah. so think about this. At this time, like the Hot Boys is really taking off, right? And yeah. you already see you know, like how you were saying about your kids and shit. Mm. You, you think you know what they're going to be. But you like, so take the Hot Boys. We already see Lil Wayne go be the nigga. No, we the yeah. same exact age. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Now, at this time, everybody is trying to combat this. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So think about some niggas who grew up in the same city across the projects from him you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying so he gotta sign his cousin so they yeah. can tell it from their perspective but they just can't rap as good as Wayne yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, what I'm saying and that's no knock to them cause shit nobody was rapping yeah, as good as Wayne as good as Wayne there wasn't even cussing like just right, right, right. so right. when he said that it's like we looked at each other like what is, what is marketing, marketing? Yeah. you feel what I'm saying like we looked at each other like right. marketing yeah. you feel what I'm saying like, and like, so y'all about what, how old y'all about she was about 17. 17 we turned okay. to 18 matter of fact we was in 12th grade. It was in 12th grade. No, no, no. We just had graduated when we met C. Yeah, okay. So we used to go down there back and forth our whole senior year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my homie, Dwayne Holmes. He was having a family reunion. We was like the biggest No Limit fans. Uh, T.R. used to put my arms. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We was the biggest No Limit fans. And uh, my man who we say look like Q and shit, yeah. he worked at the record store, right? Okay. And uh, like, so we had it was a family everything owned early. It was store. a black owned record store right on East Row, right? So we used to be there every day. Uh, I did, what's that shit called? When you, you leave we, work, you leave school and go to work. Yeah. Uh, I did my shit at the record store, but I lived with the co-op. Co-op. Yeah, co right. I, I was about to say, I so, knew what I was trying to So I lived with, yeah, it's the same, but it's in the same program. Yeah, yeah, So I lived with the nigga, so I never had to go. And, yeah. and the sister was an answer. The lady was white. She was scared to come to the hood and everything. So <laughs> to check on, you know, they got to check on your shit. You, so yeah. everything I had to get filled out, she just to give them to me. And I had the owner, which was Michelle. She had fill it out. My man assigned yeah. it. I don't never got to go, but we there every day anyway. Yeah. So. Anything no limit we had. Like yeah. I had the big ass thing in my room. The cardboard cut out that you put the CDs in. Yeah, every damn, CD. You feel what I'm saying? So my man, everybody know we love no limit. So my homeboy Dwayne, he's having a family reunion by the airport. Mm. So he called us geek. He said, "Cause this one, the it was a concert. Yeah. It was they was having a concert downtown. This is yeah. our first concert at the arena that we go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. He called us. He said, nigga, these niggas stand here. I just seen, but I ain't seen Pete. Yeah. So like I just told you, we had every single CD. So yeah. he like, I'm about to come get y'all. Yeah, Cause yeah. we don't live far. He come get us. We go up there and we recognize a nigga. It was Holloway from the Ghetto Commission. Okay. But he was shocked that we recognized him. Yeah, cause y'all fans for real. Right. So he, he was shocked. Like what? And then I'm like, nigga, you got. <laughs> The hardest words and yeah. start spitting that shit. He say, "Man, come back at two thirty yeah. in the morning." Yeah. No, we rapped for him first because remember. So when we first met Holloway, we rapped for him. He took us in the room. We rapped for somebody else, and then he called Los. Yeah. Like, 
you got to see what I got. And I, you got to remember, Cain and Abel just had left. Just yeah. left the this was new that yeah. Cain and Abel just they, had we left. We was actually mad because they wasn't on the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It we was, was so personally. New. It was so new that their name still was on the back of the tour shirt. Okay, yeah, you yeah. You feel yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So they just had left. So my man Holloway called Los, which who had actually put them on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you got to see this shit. So it's like. Everybody fishballing, and what I mean by that is all the no limit niggas is like in the lobby, and everybody else in the hotel is standing over the balcony looking at them. They can't believe it. They yeah. like, oh shit, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Ain't no P, no Silk, no C murder, no Mia XO. Everybody else but PC, yeah. Silk, the Server C. was there, Fame Server, was there. All of them niggas yeah, was yeah. there, right? So he walk us up to Los, he introduced us or whatever, and we had this song called Twin Soldiers, you know what yeah. I'm saying? In the last verse, we used to go back and forth, you okay, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And we like we did the whole song, but when they got to that last verse, like everybody was like the whole hotel looking at yeah, us, even yeah. them. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? It, yeah, 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 yeah. And when we stopped, motherfuckers start clapping and dog like come back at two thirty. C go be up here at two thirty. C go be up here at two thirty. Yeah. Long story short, C wasn't up there at two thirty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because but they was came, actually staying we came, but yeah. they was actually staying somewhere else. Okay. So he might not have knew that C and them wasn't staying there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So we started kicking it. Yeah, we, we just forged like a hell of a, a relationship, relationship. Dog, a hell yeah. of a relationship. Yeah. And we just went back and forth. Every time we got out of school, Christmas break, bam, we down there. We, just, we ain't take no senior pictures. My mom gave us the money, bam, we down there. Yeah. So it, at one point, he just was like, we going about this the wrong way. This yeah. is what the nigga tell us. See? He said, no, this is what my man Holloway tell okay. us. He said, y'all need to meet C Murder. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be so hard for us to get the master P because yeah. he. This was when he started hooping. Yeah, doing like, everything. Y'all he had the wanna, agency yeah. with Ricky Williams. Y'all yeah. go, we going about this because basically, if we would have signed, yeah. of course we go look out for him. Yeah. He said y'all going about this the wrong way. So we in New Orleans, right? Yeah. So they had this thing like niggas was wearing fake tanks. But yeah. If you I, catch I a nigga, a tank. okay. So if I would have <laughs> caught you days. with your fake <laughs> tank and relieved you of that bitch, I would have got some for that, okay. right? <laughs> So we at the, look though, look though. So we at this, we go out, shit. We at the uh, like a, a little club or some shit. So I, I see a nigga with a tank on. No, for, that was when we came out though. When we when we got to the door, when we got to the door. The nigga at the door was from the D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we, yeah, cause yeah, we, yeah. so the tank would have got us in, cause it, yeah. it, they they had this shit on lock. So my man had showed him the tank, and we gave my man my, our ID. And he like, y'all from Angster? Yeah. We like, yeah. He like, bro, I go to college out here. I'm from the city. I'm just yeah, doing security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in the dope. Yeah. We got the, the 21 and up wristbands and all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we only 18. Yeah. So look though, I see a nigga with a tank on, right? <laughs> I turn around to my man. I'm like, you feel what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> He say, nigga, this the nigga we need to see. This C right hand man, nigga. Yeah. He say, nigga, where's C? And he like, shit, that nigga just, this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he say, nigga, that nigga just came from New York. Right? So I don't know if you remember, C Murder was supposed to have kidnapped a bitch. He got in trouble for this. But sure. that was a lie, man. Yeah, because yeah. listen, he, he gave him C number, right? He gave him C number. He called C Murder. He like, yo, we coming out. Got these niggas you need to see. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We go to this house and shit. See, somebody stole this nigga C Murder dog. And his whole bag was like, <laughs> I'm going to get them I'm back. I'm going to get them back. Yeah. He, he, look, the police came because he forgot the alarm code and shit. Yeah, all yeah, of that yeah, shit. Yeah. They had to come make sure it was him. So a news story had came out that C Murder kidnapped a chick. Yeah. That's a lie. She was there, man. Yeah. She was about to cook for us. Ain't no kidnap. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So we like, damn, that's crazy. Because as soon as we leave, that's the biggest story that you're yeah, supposed to sure. have. Yeah, kidnapped kidnapped the bitch. We chick. like. So they show her on the news. No, we just was with them. That ain't, yeah. that ain't what it is. They lying. So then we playing like Madden and shit. He New Orleans. I'm Detroit. I torched this nigga. He get mad. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So he go. He like, come on, come down here. He he plays uh, CP3.com. Yeah, it was supposed come to be. Yeah, the brat was supposed to be on there. Jermaine Dupree. Like he no, had, the brat was on there. Was talking a there? good one yeah. shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had. Oh, yeah. oh, hype was supposed to shoot the video. Yeah, hype was. I think yeah. he did. I don't know. What, if whatever had, though. Yeah. But he played as the whole record. He like. My man talk highly of y'all. Let me see what y'all got. Yeah. We, we had some shit. CDs, though. At this point, we had Stash with a Drop was out. Yep, we spit that shit. Give him a CD. And then he like, that's when he told us about the marketing. Long story yeah. short, yeah. that's when he said marketing. So our whole thing, we both look. Marketing. We get back on the plane and shit. Yeah. You feel? Because we don't expect nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, sure. it, we don't expect nothing. Yeah. But he he turned that spark on. And as we, when we got off the plane... Took our shit to the crib. Mm -hmm. We never stopped ride, researching ride, marketing. And started researching yeah, marketing. For sure. Right? Because yeah. he ain't trying to. First, we like, damn, this nigga on some bullshit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But then it's like, nah, he just oh, give me unlock the key. Yeah, let y'all know what y'all need to do. Yeah. And then, like, shit just started falling in place with marketing. Mm -hmm. Right? Because then we met uh, Miles Dixon, which is Doc Chill. You feel what I mean? Through he my did, own boy Hollow. Through yeah. Hollow. 
And then we started doing marketing for him, nigga. We we marketed the East Side Cheddar Boys uh record, got yeah. that shit reviewing the murder dog. We marketed D Gun record, got that shit reviewed Ooh, the murder uh, dog. Gangsta Boogie, we got Gangsta them Boogie, reviewed uh, the murder dog. What's my nigga name? Run his pockets, dump him in the river. What was that? Reservoir, Bird, Reservoir uh, Dog. Reservoir Dog. We, we got these people. We took they shit to new heights. Yeah. Just when he said marketing, we researched what marketing yeah, was. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we just start looking at everything from a marketing, marketing. standpoint. So when yeah. I say about the TV propaganda, I see the marketing. Yeah. I see what what it is. I yeah, see I can tell the tell. colors they use because when yeah. you use the color blue, that's more intriguing. It catch your eye. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That suck you in. That mean business. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They trying to get you to do some. When business. they be wearing yeah. the red ties and all of that, that's to get you to. They about to talk about. Like something that might be devastating to you. Like so, that's why them presidents go up there and them politicians in their own TV. They always got on a red tie. Start yeah. peeping that. So and then that's why that's why it was an issue when uh, when uh, pr uh, when Barack Obama had the beige suit on because that's out of the norm. You yeah, supposed so to it, wear a blue suit yeah. or something darker color with yeah. this kind of tie. So that's out of the norm. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So we just looked at everything from, from that. the market. Yeah. And so y'all so just went. Y'all just went. We super yeah, researching yeah, and just yeah, make sure. Yeah, everything. because we need to know. Yeah. We we our whole thing. Basically is Like you were saying I never want to be in a room And it's a conversation going on that And I don't know like, nothing yeah, about it relate You can't yeah, I can't even get talk in, yeah. So if, if that ever occurred Then I go educate myself on that yeah. Just in case that conversation so Come back up again So you prepared Shit like yeah. a test You like yeah, man, okay, so come up again. I know enough to yeah. say Throw a little points out there So I can learn more And for that's sure. just That's how I rock I don't know Oh no no for sure Yeah cause like I that. That's the same thing Same with me Like if I hear people Talking about something so much I'm like damn I could say shit yeah. Like, right, right. Let me see. But what, that's a good yeah. thing too, because you can listen. Yeah, and then it's more shit to learn. Yeah. Because like I said, it's never like I said, it's never too late to learn some shit. Though. No, yeah, yeah. And, 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 some, and you can learn some shit from a little motherfucker, like somebody younger. Like it's never like, oh, bro, yeah, I, I don't never listen, man. My whole thing is, I'm not, I'm open to learning. So yeah, like, for sure. you go learn something every. You go learn something, you go teach something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the more I want to be able to teach, the more I got to be able to learn. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, sure. how would I expect somebody to learn something from me if I'm not willing to learn something yeah, from somebody yeah, else? You know yeah, what I'm for saying? Sure, dog. So, hell yeah. So you say, you know what I'm saying? Before y'all got to the podcast, y'all was heavy into the rap. What made y'all start doing rap? Like, who was y'all inspiration? My, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin Black. My cousin. So, um, I, I tell this story a lot. Like, I really want to be an international criminal. Like, yeah. I want to be an international crime lord. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I had <laughs> no, it sound I funny. Because y'all, y'all, I heard multiple uh, podcasts stuff. Y'all both been locked up. Yeah, well, I've been locked up the law. I, was, I did a year in a county, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me, but give me when the I, stories after you. Yeah, but you when know. I say I want to be an international crime lord, like, I had, like, a real plan. Like, I was go go to the military. Mm. The military was going to teach me uh, different languages. It was going to put me in different countries because yeah. these are what international crime lords are. Yeah. Like, they be like, the Russians been KGB and all of this, and they just end up traveling the whole world or whatever. Yeah. So my cousin came through with the boom box, and he was playing his shit. Yeah. And he said... That's what we doing, cuz. We rapping. And I, yeah, you're like, from there. Yeah, I ain't never looked back. Yeah, we was like nine years old. We was like nine years old. Like nine years old. Like, you a wild nigga, though, to think about being an international... <laughs> big, but, nah, I, yeah, but, it's a, but, but it's real, though. Because like, that shit is possible, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I go to the Army, right? The Army go teach me the languages for the countries that they about to drop me in. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? I'm going to make these plugs and connects and all of that. I'm going to get out the Army. Yeah. I'm going to come home. And yeah. what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a criminal anyway. <laughs> so why don't I just take it to another level? You know what yeah, I'm saying, like, real. like, so that's what I was on. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So what, what, what was some like y'all both? You know, saying did some time and stuff like that. Like, well, not really time. time like, so it was. It's all related to the same thing. You know what I mean? And, and what I mean that, like, it's all related to the same crime the first time okay right? so when we say life after felonies because i assume that's what you're talking mm -hmm. about we so we caught a case well i caught a on, case first right i'm saying so we was all in a situation at one point and everybody was charged with something okay. and my brother a real nigga because they said i did it and i didn't do it he took the weight i did that mm -hmm. but i don't know why they kept saying my name because it's i think antoine name, and santuan yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. so, yeah, you gotta yeah, think from yeah, a yeah. hater's perspective yeah. right <laughs> so everybody <laughs> like antoine 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 that was yeah. antoine and santuan it was antoine yeah. antoine yeah. antoine you know what i'm saying and so I, and we thought so we will i'd be 100 with the shit like we thought somebody had got murdered you know yeah. what i'm saying and they kept saying it was him so when they kept they told me straight up if you ain't Antoine you could go yeah cause Antoine did this yeah. you know what I'm saying and I'm like Antoine ain't do this yeah, I did this head. so Antoine could go yeah. so 
I started that journey of fighting that case yeah. because I wasn't about to let bro, you know what I'm it saying? It takes something that you know, yeah. So, so that's the opposite of what niggas think a real nigga is supposed to do because they supposed to, since, since they said I did it, that a nigga would think that I'm supposed to take yeah, but, the charge. Just, just right, but, up, yeah. but, he, but he, like I said, he a real nigga, he had to take his own. And this was not related, okay, when I say this was not related, this ain't had shit to do with us. Yeah. Right? Oh, man, this, this was. This ain't had shit to do with us, but we was running in them type of loyal, circles. Loyal, loyal, loyal to a fuck. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you would think a nigga will come with you so I'm going with a nigga you feel yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. totally you feel not me? the case yeah. so this so this, <laughs> like, shut up, this, but this, this, this tested yeah, yeah but this yeah, tested yeah. everything that we thought we believed in at the time with the niggas we was with yeah that's fair to say yeah. right so long story short he ended up doing a year in the county right sweet deal and this is what money gets you and not a bunch of money but we didn't have public defenders mm -hmm. uh, we always had a job and shit so we all pulled and paid for the lawyer but yeah, you yeah, feel what I'm sure. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. when we Compared. uh we told you my uncle his, his birthday he he died too yeah. he was a he's a penitentiary nigga at when I was 25 I only seen a nigga seven times free yeah but he because we think of my brother gonna go to the penitentiary he said don't tell nobody i'm your uncle because mm -hmm. i put in so much work in this motherfucker yeah. that if a nigga gotta come i can vouch but if they know that i'm your you my nephew they'll yeah. try to get at you oh, but yeah. i can vouch all through the system because i done put in work for a any game you can think of because mm -hmm. i'm a freelancer yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> but but what comes that's with that is but other yeah. motherfuckers yeah. don't want to get it so he said don't tell nobody well if you go here wherever you go don't say i'm about to tell you who to oh, go yeah. talk to oh, yeah, yeah. that way if something happened to you i know you, you where, where it come yeah, from yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. So I, was my own. I wasn't like i wasn't we wasn't on no oh shit you about to go to jail on some scary shit but yeah. because remember i told you we don't even put certain shit in our mind for sure right so so what ended up happening like uh the, the my cousins matter of fact they from the east he from the east and west they got these husband and wife team i ain't gonna say their names though yeah, yeah, yeah. they got a husband and wife team these motherfuckers work together but on the weekends, they play golf with the police who arrested us. Yeah. The husband, the wife go in there and negotiate a sweet ass deal. Yeah. The husband don't even know the deal negotiated. When yeah. he see what the nigga end up getting charged with, he say, no, we about to go in here and beat this case. Yeah. But it's the day he's taking the sentence. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So long story short, he get a year in the county. You okay. feel what I'm saying? And a year of probation. You supposed to get two years for a good. So basically, man, I got two attempted murders broke down to reckless use of a firearm in public yeah. you're supposed to get two years for a gun i got two years i got a year in the county yeah. and a year of probation okay. that's two years you know okay. what i'm saying and then they was getting rid of hider they got hider back now so he was like one of the, the last, last cases who, who had hider yeah. so hider you you can home youthful trainee act yeah okay. so you complete hider and the shit ain't on your record no more okay so he completed probation good but the uh, yeah he he do the year probation he completed the shit good the lady the, straight the up the told lady me just was, be I don't know she yeah. just didn't get a good vibe for the that, nigga is that the motherfucker you was talking about, about with buddy buddy? though yeah it's literally it's the same probation officer bro you feel it's the same probation officer so man she black so she be holding niggas down because this was years ago this was this was decades ago for me yeah so so. So at this time, you know what I'm saying, we dabbling in the streets because, you know, you try to make your name how you make your name. But like I said, we always have a job. So that's yeah. that's that's some game for you just because you go to work. Shit, I, 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 I got on and moved the most product because I knew motherfuckers from work. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And like the next month we catch a case now this we catch together yeah. but he only been on probation a month. Yeah. 30, yeah. After, 30 days, like literally. 30 and this days. what happened, right? So like I believe in you, the power in the tongue is real. For when sure. he go to get off probation and shit because you know they gotta let you off at this time i don't even know if they do that shit no more he gotta go to the court and uh right in front of him it was like an arab motherfucker right yeah. and this is this motherfucker get called with like 30 balls yeah he walk out that bitch though he got probation yeah i said out my mouth that day if i can get caught with 30 balls and yeah. just get probation i'll take that yeah for sure that happened and that's what happened <laughs> you that know, little, i don't know what was in the box though i don't know what was in the yeah, box yeah, ain't nobody opened the box yeah. that's what we got charged with you feel what i'm saying and then we had probation they hit all the cribs like they tried to make it look like now to be fair we were on our way yeah you know what i'm saying we was on our way up the ladder yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying this would have if this would have went down in our favor it yeah. would have been a notch higher up the ladder but it, I, I still feel like it was though it was we, we kept it know, solid we kept yeah. it solid though you feel what i'm saying and this was the funniest shit like you can laugh at this shit in yeah. retrospect yeah. so he didn't have a license yeah he had my license yeah. with my mama address yeah right yeah. i had my other license with 
my auntie address where I went to school at yeah. in Romulus, right? And then I had in my pocket uh, where uh, I live a light, a light bill because yeah. we about to bust this move, get our cheese, I'm going to pay the light bill. And we was <laughs> actually about to go to Mark Camp to get Welcome to Inkster uh, printed up. Printed up. Yeah. Right? Because so now we about to go pay the light bill, go get our uh, motherfucking shit. Yeah, up, for right? sure. All right. Like, <laughs> they, like, so they, this is our morning schedule. Like, right. So they <laughs> catch us. So this is what ended up happening. This nigga come through, he geeked. I say, no, nah, dog, it's supposed to be this. Yeah. We got to go back. Yeah, right? Yeah. So when we go back, like, now you paying attention to everything. So when I, so happened. from my point of view, when I walked out the house that morning, because I was in a relationship, and uh, my my girlfriend at the time worked in Livonia, yeah. like, up 275, but we was living in Westland and the Landings and shit, right? Okay. So now we had been living here for like a year and a half or whatever, so when we walk out the house today, it's a bunch of uh, it's normally a bunch of Mexicans who doing the uh, the, the, the grounds man. work. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we walked out today, I just had noticed that it was a bunch of white boys. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, so you know, I, like, but in my head, I'm like, well, you know, yeah, 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 I'm like white boy, but you know, yeah. I know you got a bid for the shit on the property. I yeah, understand yeah. all that, so I'm like, damn, they done switched up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the, I'm looking though, like, the fuck these these ain't the Mexicans. I be fucking with the Mexicans. Yeah. I go out, what up, dog? Because you still yeah. they they buy your cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. you know what I'm saying. So I shoot shoot the moves, go get this nigga. And really it was the motherfucker who sent it, who fucked everything up. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when we come back, right, we go in the house. We pop in the DVD the D V D. We about to watch with that with the Rafael Epic story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Guy Fisher. Yeah. Guy Fisher. So we about to watch the Guy Fisher story. We step in the house. We ain't in the house ten minutes. The DHL service come, you know what I'm saying? Knock on the door. We yeah. got a package. I signed my name on that bitch, but I signed Mickey Mouse. I'm like, oh damn, my girl ain't tell me it wasn't uh, yeah, nothing was coming. Yeah. Boom, cut the DVD off. I put the package in the house. That's where I fucked up at. Yeah. I, I turned around, I put the package in the house. That's yeah. where I fucked up yeah, at. For sure. I put the package in the house. Me and him talking. Grab the package. About to walk out. Now the parking lot go this way. Yeah. When we walk out, it's big SUVs going this way. Yeah. We look up. They ain't even give us a chance to yeah. really come up the steps. I yeah. lived in the bottom of my apartment, so I got to walk up yeah. the steps. They, they they was actually premature with the shit. As yeah. soon as we come up the steps, they run in, but they ain't got their badges out. So they're like, get on the ground, get on the yeah. ground. We on some fuck no. We ain't. Well, well, first of all, I threw the cigarette like, dog, that's for us. Like, yeah. We see them. And we like, that's like for us. Motion. I'm like, that's well, for us. Like, <laughs> it was, though, because now, now yeah. all these white boys, he's saying. Popping up like gooks and shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they like whooping up everything coming but it's, it's it's happening fast but it's coming in yeah. slow motion like the cigarette was like so slow like and then, cause I don't smoke and shit so I'm like damn they coming from both ways but the motherfucker who was down here had so far to drive that they just it was yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. fucked it up yeah it was right? just, so yeah. I'm like damn that is buzz so when we, like they like get on the ground, but they still ain't nobody pull out no badge and shit. So you yeah. like, damn niggas got it. Yeah, he had been to the promised land before. Yeah. You know, yeah. in the game. It no, it was, was after. Yeah, oh, was after. Oh. Yeah. but we know motherfuckers will be coming like that. Yeah, like, sure. So I'm yeah. like, damn dog. So I'm like, I ain't getting on the ground, man. It just it is what it is, man. Because like my grandfather and my father, they stand up men, and we ain't getting on the ground for get nothing. Ground yeah. for nobody. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Yeah. I ain't getting on the ground. So if you go arrest me, you go arrest me up against this car, or whatever. Yeah, I ain't getting on the ground, and that's just what we stand on. So. Then they start pulling out badges. Yeah. You got the Mexican motherfucker talking like, yeah. Uh, so this what ended up happening. He put had the box first. Yeah. I walked to the car with the box. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? If you can't see what you're doing wrong, you a blind motherfucker. Yeah, so yeah. They, they literally, we both had the Touched box. Touch the box. Yeah. And then the DHL nigga was the feds. You feel me? Because when I when we went to jail in Westland, that's he why was I fucked Westland. He was yeah. They told me my whole rap sheet. Yep, you just got off of probation thirty yeah. days ago. Blah blah blah. And we kept that shit all the way solid, man. But in the midst of that shit, they hit they hit the car. They hit the house that the ID every every address they had from us. They hit that house. So they was really one bad, of the man. houses was actually the spot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that kind of caused a rift between niggas. But niggas like. No way could they had tell nobody to come. They hit my mama house. Yeah. They hit like nigga, my mama was about to leave. She hey, opened the door and they was walking up. They like she like well they don't live here. You feel me? She they like well, can we look? She said yeah. You know the motherfuckers took my vest. You so oh yeah. man they took Crackers the vest. Took my vest. They took my yeah. chain that my dear homie had gave me, bro. I told them like just give me my chain back. Yeah. That's they it. took a bunch of our clothes. That's where they be getting them clothes that that they wear when they be acting undercover Unco and shit Damn. because they taking yeah. your clothes yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. I bet you was some little white bitch right now walking around with my chain on that I bought for my homie before he Damn, died. You, still ain't got you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that shit, that shit gone. <laughs> Let's go on in the wind. So, 
Oh, then they hit my auntie house. No, no, but when they hit the crib, though, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they hit the crib and they found the safe, though, and they thought it was jackpot, like, so yeah. my mama say they found the uh, drop, the lockbox, they eyes lit up, you know, they bust that bitch open, eight dats and dats from the music, my nigga. You That's know all it is. Like all a music. rap video type of shit. My mama said she kind of laughed, like, you know what I'm saying? Because she like, it ain't no drugs here. Yeah. My sons ain't. Yeah, they ain't about putting my arms in harm's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they with her, my auntie crib, my auntie just had more. That bitch was empty. That bitch was empty. They was mad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, even as you watch these shows and shit, all they trying to do is flip up the ladder. They catch them off, but they think they hit the jackpot because they're like, oh, wait, something bound to happen. So we catch that case and shit and we in Westland and shit so first they think we got a court appointed attorney and shit and then McDuffie walk in that bitch gatored up suited and booted so she the, the lady who thought she was our attorney like who who got McDuffie and shit McDuffie say them my clients the lady was like, oh, y'all straight. Yeah. This is what the court appointed yeah. told us. Oh, y'all yeah. straight. Yeah, y'all you straight. feel what I'm saying? So we end up getting probation and shit but like we were saying, we was loyal to different. We always been loyal to principle, right? Mm-hmm. Not the, the if you ain't if if the it, it don't matter who's standing in front of it, it's right? The yeah, principle, yeah, yeah. The principle and just we just seen some shit. You feel what I'm saying? That we ain't we ain't particularly think was with our principles. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's no knocking on other niggas because you I can't think your principles my principles For just because sure. we together. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Like I'm not go like. If if we together every day and you think I send a motherfucker to where I stay, yeah. you we can't be homies like I thought yeah, because sure. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But are you telling me subconsciously that you would do that? Yeah. And, 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 and then when you think about it even more subconsciously, you ain't got to tell us you would do that because you tossed the, the the bag of guns and shit in the room that they say that I occupy yeah. and I'm the only nigga here who who go face the most like yeah. cuz we we I knew I was off probation for 30 yeah. already but yeah, you don't bro. know how that shit go yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah. like so you you really still in the system you really still this like, how we know you still in the system yeah, right yeah, so yeah. they McDuffie get up there talk that talk we went to court twice with McDuffie by the time we leave the second time we got Five years probation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we go back to the uh probation office. We uh what was his name? Fred Smith. Yeah. So they they give us now Fred the, Smith. Like I gotta a, give a, a real shout one. To, he's a real a real he, one. He he, he don't yeah. want to see you in the system. Yeah. He was like a football coach in a uh, Dearborn and shit. Okay. And he just kept it solid. Do what y'all are supposed to do. I never gotta come see y'all. Yeah. For you sure. feel what I'm and saying? And he would like if we would have shows because yeah. we wasn't working at the time. So if we would have shows, yeah. he would count that as. Work and work. shit like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when we like when we meet in Mr. Smith and shit, uh, we hear like some snickering and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. some giggling and shit. And it's this bitch walking back up, and she got her home girl with her. And she say, "I told you, I see you again, Mr. Jackson." Damn. Ooh, we. Damn. Yeah. You but you like, still working at the same place, bitch. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm good out here rapping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, but she, but you but know she what? Could she, too, she, she could change too. But she did. She didn't with Buddy. She didn't with Buddy. But yeah. But you know what? Them people be having their favorites. You know what I'm saying? And anything in life, people get get their favorite. Yeah, and I just always say to people, just become the favorite. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like something about Buddy must have rubbed her the wrong way. It could even be as deep as like a man. He could re- resemble a man in her life and who she, did yeah, her wrong. Yeah, for sure. He, 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 I mean, that's, that's out just, of his it, control. It's just like a fucking uh, wounded woman. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I'm saying. But yeah, I'm saying she was a bitch control. then. But I ain't gonna lie, she looked it straight though. <laughs> yeah. Like like back then, like you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I looked it straight up. So you know, and that you a funny ass nigga, but she did though. But you know what I'm saying? I ain't even. She wasn't even straight. She was tight, nigga. <laughs> she was tight You know what I'm saying Yeah see she done Probably let one of them Young niggas here Who look like Something buddy. like that Like you never like, know bro Cause she was tight like, yeah. <laughs> So you know The reward For loyalty To principles Is the door is open You feel yeah. what I'm saying Now we fucking With some niggas Who we just Trying to move up the ladder, you know what I'm saying? Our only connection, well, our connection was through marketing because yeah. we did some marketing for one of his companies, and we just the type of motherfuckers people like. You yeah, feel what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's just because a solid nature, right? Yeah. So we start talking. You know, a nigga introduced us, but it was on marketing. We did some marketing. We kind of got that shit popping a little bit too. What yeah. they was doing, I ain't gonna say what, because then you know. Yeah. But uh, we got yeah, that shit popping. I was saying, I ain't bled out here in this. Place. Yeah, <laughs> but this all old anyway. No, you no, feel no, what I'm sure. saying? But the reward is being real. And so we my met man a, said, we met a, one of the best homies we got through that situation. Yeah, yeah. You know so he said, my nigga look, Goob, shout out Goob. He say, uh, saying? listen, that shit was solid. You feel what I'm saying? I know you ain't got no job and shit. What you do? Yeah. I say, shit, I'm just at the crib. He say, why don't you roll me? It's gonna take about three days. Yeah, three, four days. I say to this nigga, I'm going. Yeah, you feel yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Man, this nigga opened the door, took for me. You feel what I'm saying? And I go down there, man. I, You know, this the game at this time. So I meet, I meet some Mexicans. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was nervous. Yeah. Right? Because I'm out of town, yeah. on probation, yeah, doing sure, yeah. illegal some shit. Bullshit, yeah. Right? Yeah. But he, but the, the, the door was open for me. And I just seen how the game go from jump. 
Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And I just learned everything and shit. And uh, that and this is weed, man. We ain't. Yeah, we, we, ain't talk no yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we talk yeah. about weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about weed. I don't ever want a motherfucker. Yeah, to take like that. Me. We talk about weed. Yeah, and this back when nigga, you this yeah. back when a nigga. Uh, 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 a nigga waiting on a nigga for a, a truck to come through. Yeah, you feel sure. what I'm saying? So, but I'm here though. Joints, I'm, here though. I'm picking. I'm all of this. He yeah. say this how you do it, bro. If you don't like it, tell him no. And, and that's what we was doing. All no, that shit ain't tight. And I'm talking about Mexicans just flooding this bitch. And I'm nervous yeah. because you know, I don't speak Spanish. Yeah. Right? You feel what I'm saying? I was ill prepared because they don't. I, they don't know I don't speak Spanish, but I don't speak Spanish. And then when we say no, they start talking in Spanish. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But the other motherfuckers coming. But I just seen how the game was going around yeah. this time in the world. And motherfuckers can really make a living off of this shit. And to me, marijuana never been illegal. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, this it right here. Yeah, like, sure. but he opened the door, and that was just the reward for being real. Because if we could have flipped up the ladder and yeah, said, yeah. it was dog, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we niggas at, do that. We was like, at the bottom of the totem pole, and we wasn't making. We was at that $100 time. Dollars yeah. Yeah, $100 a bow. Yeah, a hundred dollars a bow. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah, but yeah. times that, that, by that 50. we was catching. That yeah, we was catching. Right. But yeah, times that by fifty. You feel what I'm saying? Three days a week. Right. So you saying shit? I got I got ten addresses. Nigga, I'm trying yeah. to catch them all. Sure. Because you the thing was, we, we we had all the addresses that wasn't in Detroit. Yeah. So they, we was a jackpot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They like, oh shit, and and we, you know what I'm saying? And they, and when it came time to stand tall, we stood tall. But that yeah. was just a testament to sure. we knew what we was into. Hell yeah. yeah and yeah. I think a lot of people when they doing wrong, they don't. Cause they like, act like they don't know. Uh, yeah, we got shit know. wrong in you know, yeah. the government. Yeah, like sure. I always tell people, I ain't never walked through a door and ain't get what I was coming to get. Yeah. Good, bad, or indifferent. When yeah, I walk yeah, through that sure. door, I know exactly what I'm getting. So I wasn't like I wasn't a nigga who was mad. Like even when I was in the county, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like me going to the county opened up a door in our life where we ended up hanging on the east side for yeah. like two years straight, doing yeah. some of the best times of our life, yeah, and yeah. we got rewarded for being loyal. To that situation too, because like it's loyal to the principal. So the reward for that situation is we actually got to be around a nigga that's a real OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas think niggas be OGs, yeah, but, but you be with these niggas every day yeah. and you watch like OG moves. Like you don't become an OG just because when it's time to shoot, you shoot. Yeah. Or for you sure. know what I'm saying? You oh, become you... an OG if that's what you aim and do. Every day leading up to the first time you ever shot. Yeah. Every day leading up to the first, you know what I'm saying? Or the yeah. first time you just the didn't shoot. shoot. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, so we on. I meet the guy in jail. I put him on with bro. Mm -hmm. I had a connection to their neighborhood. Who, whatever he was telling me about who he was, yeah. I knew a motherfucker that was going to tell it like it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I had to do was say one thing. So you don't get shit like that. Yeah. What's the odds of? Uh, my very first girlfriend is actually from your neighborhood in yeah. the east side. Yeah, like yeah, literally. Like yeah, what's yeah. the odds of that? So all I did was say one thing, yeah, yeah. and I knew her. Boom! Oh, yeah, I hit him good. back. Yeah. yeah, dog. This actually, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> actually, he sugarcoated. Yeah. Cause this is from the outside looking in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put it down with dog and them. That's what uh, we jumped down with double dog records. Um, Blick and all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I asked y'all because yeah. I was intrigued as far as like what y'all was talking about as far as like with with, with buddy and stuff. So that's why I had to ask y'all. You know, the whole little background as far as like getting locked up and stuff like that. But with the music, when did the music kind of like become like? Distance, like I, you know what, the music ain't about to pop off. And it it never it became distant though because we that set shit, goals. Yeah, we, we, like, our shit was goal based. Like when our you main hold goals. on, but you got like when we first started rapping, we didn't know that you could rap and get a record deal. Yeah, we was kids though, but yeah. we didn't know that. We didn't know what a record deal was, so yeah. we didn't. It wasn't like we was. Rapping to get a record deal, and then we start loving all the independent motherfuckers Jay Prince, Tony yeah. Draper, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, what, um, Three Six Mafia. Everybody Eshan, who was putting yeah. Eshan for sure, Eshan, like our favorite of yeah. all time. Everybody who was putting out independent records, we didn't understand that somebody else was financing the yeah, independent yeah, yeah, records. Yeah. So, I don't know when I really deciphered that. James Prince is putting the money up for the ghetto boys. Yeah, for you, sure. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? As yeah. opposed to thinking that Scarface is rapping, putting his own money up. So yeah. I don't know. So it's like behind it. Yeah, like yeah. so we was just trying to fund our own shit, and yeah. then people would come along and be like, "Oh, y'all need to be signed." And we're like, "What the fuck that mean?" Yeah, yeah. But that ain't shit. But a slate like that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just, actually that yeah. people was just basically telling us somebody need to own y'all. Yeah, that's because that's all that means. You know, Hell yeah. So you you believe everything got to be independent or a partnership? Well, a no, partnership. I, I believe in everything got to work out best for the individual yeah. involved. Because like you think yeah. about when you think about that, you think about people like Baby, the type of deal he put together. But listen, bro. Keep, keep, listen. Keep in mind, bro. When you you just named Baby and P, 
These are project niggas. Yeah, for they, sure. These so niggas they from the projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they working. Well, everybody do this, but they working it out super in their best mm -hmm. interest. But if you benefit from it, that's your interest too. You yeah. can't think that you're not gonna put no money up and have it. Right, you can't money think you deserve or yeah. pee. Think about this. Are... Little Wayne just rap. Baby and Slim, the masterminds behind yeah, this sure. shit. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? If Baby were the number one stunner, we wouldn't even know about him. Yo, have you ever heard Slim talk more nope. than two words? <laughs> Hell no. You feel Hell me? Hell no. My partner said he met Slim, nigga. He was on the phone. He was he he was shook like he was uh Cause he just be, stuck because he, 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 he heard just him a figure. Talk. He just he just there. Come on, bro. And and you, know last shot and you, got, you got Baby who do all the talking, all the talking because so niggas always so Baby get the bad rep, but babe, that's Baby and Slim because he can't do something that's in our best interest, and I'd not be okay with it. Yeah. You feel what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. And that's no knock. That's just a business thing. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Somebody got to be the good guy. Somebody got to be, be the, the bad, bad guy. guy. But you know what I'm saying? But niggas can't put up as much money. If you ain't putting the money up, you ain't going to get the big, you ain't going to get the big slice sure. of the pot. Hell and yeah. we start, but like I said, that also go back to us working since we was five years old. We yeah. always, always it, it, it wasn't a no for us because yeah. we was going to do it ourselves. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. say no, all right, man, we going to yeah, go to the back yeah, door yeah. and get this shit the other gonna, way. Yeah, so it was always that type of mentality. And music just, I got, I got like three more albums locked in, yeah. but it, 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 I don't got no love for it because yeah. of the... When did, when did it, when, when can y'all say, when did, the, when did the love for music, as far as like pursuing it and that being like what y'all love to do? I, when it's did it's the business. It's not, it's not music at all. It's the business. That, yeah. and this way, it's it's the politics So that's kind of like separate you from like still putting out music like this yeah. business? Yeah, because it's, no, we love it. We, we, we understand it's a business, but mm -hmm. too much fake shit come Going with that with the in the name of business. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to play you today for ten thousand dollars when we could build a relationship and that ten thousand dollars could turn into ten million but but again that's motherfuckers who when you when you hear stories like that that's because they front and they use they they come from nothing i don't yeah. come from nothing yeah. right. so because, i, I ain't right. geeked about like you not like my granddaddy was pulling up and working hard going pulling up in brand new vans pulling up in brand new trucks the house is yeah. tight, you know what I'm saying? My grandfather built the house. Like we always, I, I don't remember being hungry. Yeah, I don't sure. remember, you know what I'm saying? So everything that, like, it ain't no materialistic shit yeah. with me. Like because if I wanted toys, I just worked Monday through Friday to get paid my Saturday. couple of dollars yeah, Saturday yeah. to go yeah. get my toys. All I got to do is wait on my money. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I put so in the work. You put the work in, and he well, he get paid Friday. He used to work at the noon, so he get paid Friday. He yeah. come home, he cash his check or whatever Saturday, and he leave it. If we ain't there by the time we go to work, he leave it with my grandma. Yeah. We just go pick it up. Yeah, like, yeah. So so I work for that. So it's like putting in the work is it ain't no magic trick with the music, and that's how it's perceived to you. Oh, shot rapping at the barber shop. Such and such discover him. His mm. life blow up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But in reality, Shy was rapping at the barber shop, going to work, trying to maintain. They ain't. T they wasn't telling you those parts of the yeah, story, sure. right? Yeah. And then they just told you to blow up. Like, yeah. oh, and then and with music, right, up. right? With music, it's always niche, right? So. The only people who made it in music is people who gained their own following, yeah. right? That's why uh, at one point, uh, Keisha Cole on the radio all the time. Mm. Her and Tech Nine got a show. Mm. Keisha Cole want to close the show. Tech Nine want to close the show. Keisha Cole on the radio all the time. Yeah. Tech Nine not on the radio. At the all. The people came to see Tech Nine. Who yeah. closed the show? Tech, Tech Nine. Nine. Yeah. You can't get mad at that. He built that yeah, up. Now like, you built your shit up too. Yeah. But your shit. Ain't it's as organic as yeah, he is. Yeah, true. You know what I'm yeah, and that's yeah. not a shot to Keisha Cole. That's really true. He got a, a, a core motherfucking following. Right. And right. it just right. so right. happens right. now it's millions of motherfuckers. Right. Yeah. But I, we was on Tech Nine early. Right. At one point it wasn't. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? At one point it was no such thing as technicians. I, and I'm, when you say Tech Nine, I always ask that question like, dog, who would you rather be? Tech Nine or Jay Z? You feel what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I would rather be me, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But if I had to choose one of their rap careers, you feel what I'm saying? I would pick Tech Nine. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because them motherfuckers locked in, dog. Yeah, yeah, they, sure. they, it's, it's niggas who battle they, they with promote, Jay Z shit. They yeah, promote yeah, yeah. their they own. Like it's 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 a court. That's what it yeah. is. Every court that everybody's ever been a part of, that yeah. person wanted to do with music. Uh, uh, what was my nigga name? Charles Manson. He, he wanted got to say, be he, a rock star, he, yeah. but he got some tight songs, man. Like yeah, you could yeah, pull them yeah, up yeah. on YouTube. But that's why it's called a court following. Yeah, Cause sure. the court go take care of you. Hell yeah, the hell court yeah. go take. They gonna do the work. They gonna do the work. All right, man. We 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 talking about the music and stuff. But let's talk about where I discovered y'all that man. The podcast <laughs> shit, dog. Yeah, so, you know, we, like I said, we already talked about, you know what I'm saying, you and Q, y'all, you know, meeting up at the podcast awards in North Carolina. Yeah. And stuff. But, dog, when did um, podcast 
come into thought between y'all two? Like, what made y'all want to jump into the podcast game? And was it like an influence? Like, y'all listened to such and such and felt like, damn, we can do this shit. We got, you know what I'm saying, a good little shit going on between me and So, bro. What, what ended up happening is we used to advertise on podcasts. You feel okay. what I'm saying? Because advertising on podcasts is the best thing that any sure. company could do, right? Especially if you got a product that's going to always be there. Mm-hmm. But it's it live forever. So when you advertise on radio, it's just for that time period. It's no playback on radio that's going to have At the all. same You got to hear it right then there. Right there in there. Podcasts, I can go back and listen to our first show. Mm-hmm. And if somebody advertised, that shit still be yeah, there, right? Because yeah, it's sure. all about catalog. Because yeah. your catalog is important. Sure. So we used to advertise on podcasts and shit. And we advertised on uh, Premium Pete. You know what I mean? This okay. one, Pete had just left Combat Jack. Oh, yeah. I already know. Yep, yep, yep. So, we was like, Pete didn't speak much on Combat Jack. Show, At all. Right? So, we was like, damn, let's see what he do. So, we started listening to the first episode. Mm-hmm. So, we had the College of Hip Hop dot org and shit. That's what the shirt say I'm wearing. And uh, I'm like, yo, we need to advertise on that. So, we put our, it's the same, we, everything got the same mentality, right? Mm-hmm. We put our money together. You feel me? We don't give a fuck if we got to save what. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So we put our money together. We advertised. And it worked, right? This is why it worked. Because remember I said the, the the award was us, me, and him. Yeah, So sure. what ended up happening is my pot. he my partner right now. But at the time, I didn't know him. His name, his name, Curve. He was a, he's a podcaster. He had the From Scratch show, Curve mm-hmm. Gotti, and the New Dangerous. That was From Scratch. Okay. So he heard the advertisement, and he hit me up. Yeah. So we going back and forth, and I tell a nigga. No, no, the Twitter, right? We was on Twitter, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I tell, I tell Curve, no, we from the town. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We from the town. He said, well, we record in Detroit. So that's the first podcast we ever went on in Detroit. Okay. So now when we go to Curve and them, uh, the homie Rick is with us, Freeway Ricky Ross. He meets yeah, us up yeah, there because yeah, that, yeah. that's uh, that's family and shit. I was if anybody ever seen uh, his documentary Cracking the System when he get out of jail, mm. he walk into the IHOP. I'm right there. Yeah, like like you can see me. Like now that you know it's me and shit, yeah, like I'm sure. right there. Yeah. So we got a real strong relationship with Rick. You know what I'm saying? And we say to Rick, "Well, pull up. We about to go do this. Yeah, podcast. we about to do this yeah. podcast. And he working with a he bring a nigga named Hollis Jordan with him. Okay. So the first time we walk through the door for my man in them podcasts, he he interview us. We toss Rick some. He, well, it, talk to my man's too. Oh, talk yeah. to his artist too. Yeah. Cause it's all love with us. For like sure. you know what I'm saying? I yeah. want for my brother what I want for myself. That's yeah. how. That's a lifestyle. Oh, yeah. you know yeah. So then, saying? so we own near. Right then we uh so me, then me and Curve we built a hell of a relationship. That's my man to this day. We text. You feel what I'm saying? We got him his first pair of top tens because yeah. you can't say you my homie and then yeah. say you ain't had no top tens because I had hella top tens. Like when I was in retail, they used to call me top ten twin because I'm grabbing them bitches yeah. right. So his birthday just passed. We got him his first pair, but we end up like knowing each other and running in these circles because it's really only like especially with the internet it's only two degrees of separation because i worked at ipsy at puffer ridge mm-hmm. and he went to eastern so he's yeah. like man i used that's how you familiar yeah. to me you know it you feel me and i've been that nigga everywhere i worked in retail <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, for sure. so we build a good relationship so then we own now that's in person so then we own name tag show now it's called a name tag is necessary but uh, then, it be, then it was called a label lead and be legendary podcast okay. so we build a good relationship and this is how our relationships work in case anybody know by us being twins we cool we both cool with the people but then yeah. one of us just, just be talk cooler. To yeah, cool not yeah. cooler just talk to you more yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, like yeah. me and Curve had that shoe understanding yeah. so we would talk about shit like that yeah. but me and Tag talk about music way right. more and so then if anybody who don't know like I always wanted to be a, a, a educator okay. right so I went to college uh, I went to Eastern and I, it was two things so I was either going to get in the college of business or the college of education I got in the college of business first okay. you feel what I'm saying because I went to University of Phoenix I, and and I got a degree in business, so I'm like, dog, I don't know if I want to be a teacher. But I mean, the long and the short is, teachers don't really make shit. Yeah, and yeah, all my sure, teacher yeah. homies at that time was like working in the summer and shit. So yeah, and that's counterproductive, that right? Yeah, yeah, so sure. like curve a teacher and I shit. So all of them things we had that common ground and shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And that's where the college of hip hop came from because this was my way of still being able to be educate, educator, right? Teaching you niggas. Feel what I'm saying? I, I even game. did like student teacher for a week. Shout out to my homegirl Toya. We just had her on the show, Latoya da- uh, Daniels and shit. Yeah. She hooked me up with my first week of student teacher at okay. MC High. Okay. Her and, and the nigga I used to work with, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, went yeah. on. She a great educator. You yeah. know what I mean? So we was on them two podcasts. And we were studying podcasts, and we was listening to podcasts. Then we got hit the shop talk. We, we got, got hit the so say, yeah. studying podcasts. Like y'all going to listen to other shit. Yeah, we listen yeah. to other. We shit. trying to see where we will fit in. Where you know, we will fit in. When y'all say that, it's like I. I was studying podcasts, but didn't know I was doing it. No, but we we, we knew. Yeah, we I did because I work at Chrysler. I'm listening to like I told y'all, Tastone, Drink Champs. 
this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, so like even with all of them shows, right? So we we catching tax early in the yeah, we we were so on. early in the studying podcast. We know the spinoffs of the podcast. Okay, okay he yeah. listened to Tax Stone all day. Yeah. Okay, he trying to get a Joe Button reaction. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we said, what do we see? Doing? I, I, we listened to Joe Button when mm-hmm. Maul wasn't on there. I remember Maul no, first show on no, there. No, that's funny. You feel what I'm saying? Because I remember I just got on. I think. On the Joe Button podcast, went more. I think he first started. Yeah. Right, right. See, it was it, uh, uh, old it was girl, a girl used to be on there. Oh, girl, uh, yeah, because Joe Button they say he fired her and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That, what whatever. was her name? I forget. But whatever, yeah. she ain't yeah. <laughs> because we ain't trying to. But no, no, that's no. how like so people was, was figuring it out. We even we used to listen to Wine Epstein too. I'm not gonna yeah, lie and say yeah, I, I didn't. To, I don't like Rosenberg so we, though. But so. y'all was like studying it just to figure out where y'all next gonna be or yeah, how. So if we go do this, if we go, yeah, we will first do we because we knew from rapping that it would take marketing and where we told y'all how we gonna market. Y'all, y'all so not every else. time we get into a different business, the yeah. first thing we do is looking at it from a marketing standpoint. Yeah. Does so, this exist? Does yeah. this? So it was it it wasn't no identical twin podcasters. That's number yeah. one. That's number okay. one. But we didn't want to base our show on being identical twins. Mm-hmm. Nor music. Nor music. You right. know what so I'm our saying? first idea was just a. Interview, interview all podcasters. podcasters. Yeah. It just wasn't enough yeah. at this time, right? So like we was telling you earlier, we had the urban. We we created two things. We created. Uh, the Urban Podcast Summit and Urban Podcast Month. Urban Podcast Month is in May, okay. and like the reason is for in May because that's our birthday and that's my daddy's birthday. Okay, right. And then my cousin Lil Lavelle, his birthday yeah. in May. So we everything we do kind of got some significance to us. Like mm-hmm. our first show was November fourth, uh, two thousand seventeen. That's because that's my homeboy Sticks birthday. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? So we that everything when we launch and shit like that, we yeah, base it around it's, shit like that. Meaning to it. Right. So. When we so we started podcasting and so this was the initial connected experience, right? So we if you rap and you a producer, we'll put y'all together because yeah. we know both of y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all are supposed to hook up after this, yeah, yeah, but yeah, y'all are supposed something. to respect each other because we know y'all. Because yeah. if you come to me and say he did some fuck shit or vice versa, yeah. I gotta step in and say that's on my name because that, yeah. that that's all I got my name, and that's, that's why I said got, I've yeah. been the nigga. But I never don't put no whole shit on my name. Yeah, no, ain't no type smut of on name. Don't put no smut on my name because. No matter how you got your name, if your name's solid, you can go other places and get your name. For sure. And people, all you got to do is make a phone call and see if it's like he said, he called his girl yeah. and seen if dog was who was real. Who, yeah, who, yeah. I, I am exactly who I say I am. That's not tough. That's not rich. You just go get a real genuine experience with For me. Sure. And what you take from it is what you take from it. The only people who can say I did them wrong is a bitch. And that's at the time. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah, I ain't no nigga going to say we did nothing yeah. shady to him. Yeah, even niggas, like even when we was young and we was beefing with niggas in the streets it was always respect yeah. it was always respect and, and and niggas don't respect they beef and that's how they get killed yeah. because like if me and Shy beefing and I think Shy the whole ass nigga then I mean I done stepped down to a whole ass nigga level yeah. so if me and Shy beefing and I know I'm with it then I gotta figure Shy with it yeah. that's just what it is I don't gotta like you like yeah. just cause I don't like you don't mean I can't be like yeah, he did put it in at work though. Yeah, like, yeah, like you know what I'm what saying? Because, because that, 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 you know, it's funny because I just was listening. We were talking about Vlad. I was listening to motherfucking uh, Young Buck. And he was talking about the time that uh, the game was dissing them on 300 bars. And he said, when he seen them, like, dog, this nigga. I'm about I'm about that action. He about that action. Nigga. It's, and nigga, even with Buck, man, Buck, you know, Buck be in the city all, yeah, the, time all the time and shit. Yeah. So when Buck first left Fifty, nigga, he had a show in Ipsy, uh, and on the strength of Rick and Wendy Day. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. We was people go to people. So we met Wendy Day, who we had been following deals, for years. Like, but she negotiated cash money deal. She yeah. helped Eminem. She threw the Rap Olympics when Eminem won. So she was doing some work with Rick with the uh, what was that? TMI boys. The TMI boys we helped build rick website mm. you feel what i'm saying off the strength because it was like some contest shit so we helped build that mm-hmm. and when buck came to uh ipsy and shit both of them said hey it's some guys out there you know yeah. rick mainly because he we had been personal with him yeah. like we just knew about wendy day but hey talk to yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. right so then we we took buck to a radio station and no, uh, that was after though. no but that's what i'm saying we met buck now we, you know what I'm saying, we familiar because he know all type of city niggas, but he don't know no ancient niggas. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, so then, couple months later, couple months Rick later, came home. Rick came home. He put it together. He tell us, yo, y'all really held it down for the nigga. It's all love. He come back. We take him to a radio station uh, yeah. in Highland Park. And now, 
this the nigga who radio show is biggest interview. Yeah. And we don't even we tell take, him. Yeah, we don't <laughs> even tell him. So we don't even tell him. We got Buck. Young Buck yeah. and Freeway Rick up there. But the real thing is, this is the first time Freeway Rick and Young Buck met in person. Right. Yeah. They had been talking, but the first time they met yeah, in person yeah, yeah. was in Highland Park, Michigan, because they both was with us. Yeah. yeah. So, you know so Buck was out here with his city niggas, and Rick out here with us. What, what was he doing? Yeah. So... Hey, tell Buck to come to the radio station. We don't even tell Dog we bring him Buck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't saying like me and Buck homies and no shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that just was the mutual respect. So we said, Dog, our shit gotta be based on that because that's yeah. what we doing. For now sure. they had been talking, but this is the first time they meet in person. Yeah. So we like, Dog, that shit like that's a nigga name go a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. we like uh, we start and it, it, it like the idea that idea is great, but it's very hard to get two, two people, people on the yeah, same yeah, schedule. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So it worked like that, and then we said, you know what, dog? We just about to start introducing our audience to people we think. Dog. Yeah, you you know, it's funny saying? though, cause like I got on y'all without knowing I got on y'all, because like I said, with Buddy, I do research on motherfuckers who come on the show. So I go through his page and I see he was on y'all show. Like, all right, he did he did a podcast before he did yeah. this before. Because we the reference. We was just telling yeah. your uncle that and we we want to be the reference, yeah. right? So next time you go on somebody's show, they gonna have to listen to our show to listen to you. Yeah, you like even if you send it to him, hey, I got a bio, but you should listen to this too. Yeah, because like we we don't want it to be the same. Yeah. We don't right, and we don't. It ain't about what you do with our show. It's who you are. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of who you are. Whatever yeah. you do, it don't matter. Like it and, matters. But and you know what's it, funny though? Because before I think y'all really fuck with me, with me heavy. This this dude put me. I had a, a goal in, t- in the beginning of 2019 was to be on somebody's podcast. Yeah. And he tagged y'all, and y'all was like, "Q, you come, you come through anytime." <laughs> but then later down the line, y'all see that I messed with somebody that reached out to y'all. Right, and and that's what it is—the connected yeah, it's, experience because everybody dog, connected. You everything know is about connections and about relationships and about how you were as a person. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, like we just good. Like at the end of the day, man, we just good people and we attract yeah. good people. And we when we was good people doing bad things we attracted other good people yeah. who do bad things like i'm just a fan of growth you know yeah, what i'm saying sure. like so everybody go like grow into being a better ver- hopefully you grow into being a better version of yeah. yourself you, you know what i'm to. saying yeah. and along hopefully. that journey you meet different people like like we met q what two years prior to you coming on the show yeah. you know what i'm yeah, saying sure. but we always so like I probably remember listening to your first show, not realizing it was your first show yeah. from following Q, yeah, like. Yeah, and then when I be up in the morning, he'll tell you I I yeah, watch the yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm up, I watch it. Yeah. Or if I don't get a chance to watch it, I go back and look at it put once it he put it on the internet. No, when y'all, internet. I hit, he can tell you I hate this dude. Like dog, he interview buddy, and they 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 mention my name, dog. Y'all understand how y'all mention my name, nigga? I rewind that shit three times just to hear my name. <laughs> like, but I, but I, we know the feeling though. Yeah, yeah we know the feeling. Somebody, mentioned, somebody mentioned my motherfucking name when they podcast, nigga. And Who I just, you didn't know? So that yeah. means what you do stand out. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So and that's that's what our, we wanted our whole show to be about, and because we always lead with two things, man: love and respect. Right? Respect first, and then the love should follow sure. after that. So. We threw the Urban Podcast Summit because we still at this time when we thought the Urban Podcast Summit, we still trying to find our niche because we like man, if we we because the name is so dope, the connected experience yeah, that we can whole still intro, so, the whole intro dope, yeah. you're connected, yeah. So uh, <laughs> like the whole shit dope, dog. So we like we can always circle around the interview and podcast, yeah. man. So many people was podcast hosts that we put in that seat the first time. Yeah. So many people was doing something because it don't matter how many followers and shit you got with yeah. us, we putting you in that seat because sure. we want to get gonna to push know it you. like we pushed it when we did like yeah, you feel you me know, said so. we give everybody the same push so we throw the urban podcast summit right we bring pete out here we put people uh motor city oprah she up we put her she hosted it right yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, what i'm sure. saying and we met her through uh jay and dame you feel mm-hmm. what i'm saying uh the homies the west side homies you know what i'm saying so we met her through them we and met we, uh verge we met verge and judy through them I, and so we was like yo we gotta put all these podcasters in the room yeah. right so through my shoe connection mm-hmm. I mean, Big Greg, yeah. but that's Ty Homeboy. Yeah, Ty had a podcast, and that's what. So first, initially, we just was gonna produce podcasts because yeah. Ty had a podcast, and we was calling him and shit like, "No, nah, dog, we you need to do your shit like this." Yeah. So we like, "Yeah, like let's come with it." You feel what I'm saying? But he, he just was so busy that he wasn't able to do it. You yeah, feel what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so the they end. were like, "We gonna do our own shit." So 
Big Greg loved Jordan ones. Okay. Right. I worked downtown. I worked in Harbor Town when I worked at uh, Mr. Alice. I made sure like he he a size twelve. He yeah. he coming to get his shit. Yeah, so yeah. then one day I was like, hey man, you go be, you go be. Can you be on the podcast? He was like, yeah. When and where? Yeah. Here go my number. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He came. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? He came. We chopped it up. We kicked it. And he like he liked it. You feel what I'm saying? So when we throw the Urban Podcast Summit, he say. Man, why don't y'all come on my show here in the morning on the radio? We the first niggas in the state, nigga, probably ever we on the talk radio about talking about podcasting, <laughs> nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. And we real we niggas. Jay, so, Dame. Look, we took Jay, Dame, and, and Cheyenne because my nigga Dame said he liked delicious. Oh, you do? <laughs> come on. Let's go, nigga. Let's go. Let's you go. And like, when that nigga got there in front of delicious, he was, he was mute. You feel what I'm saying? We couldn't believe, believe it. We couldn't believe it. But, but come we put him in a room. This is what you're saying. Y'all did y'all do delicious. We put him in a room and shit. He, he just say she's so beautiful. Yeah. You know he, he was mesmerized. <laughs> but you feel what I'm saying? But that's what we do, man. We yeah. just want to. You say sure. you like something, and if I got the opportunity, it I put if, you in the bro. room. If you, when, but, you but when you tell us what whatever, when I meet people, like when I said the whole J Rose shit. Yeah, yeah, but when oh, I but yeah, when I meet about, people, yeah. yeah, when I meet people, how can we help each other? Yeah. I know for sure what you whatever you about to tell me you yeah. do. I got somebody. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Get, get, sure. Give me a minute. And if you they don't get back with me when they do, you feel what I'm saying? Because it ain't no hate, man. Like, we live. Like, we brothers, we come up and we start being Muslim at one point. But the principle is I want for my brother what I want for myself. That's where the right? Quran. And that's if, the, where, if them crackers the can take anything out of the Bible and use it to stand on, then we can take shit out of the Quran. Yeah. And, so, and that's, just, that's just how we live. And, we, and our shit just grew... Start growing and shit. You know what I'm saying. Then we meet uh, Pastor Dean Saint DeAngelis, cause he was trying to get somebody else on the show for somebody else. And we yeah. said, Nick, th them niggas flaked out. And we say, No, dog, you come on the show, cause you gotta do something. Yeah, for sure. And, then and we, we told him. One of the, I remember telling Dean, Hey, I don't know. You know, you contacted us so such and such can come yeah. on the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hold them not coming against, against you. you. Yeah. I know that we go do some big shit together. For sure. So yeah, fast yeah. forward, uh, Jay Prince dropped the book and shit. Now, my sister had said, yo, y'all need to interview Jay Prince. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I said, well, we will. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, like if, if if we get the opportunity, we will. So we put it in. So it, that was my sister putting it in the air. Yeah, put and it then up, yeah. we contacted Julia Beverly on our own. Dean contacted Julia Beverly on our behalf, which so... Basically, they came to us because two people contacted them about us. Yeah, yeah. Talking and about Dean was one of them. Yeah, right. And he came. He, he, so he got to get that credit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It, we it, we, we it don't know just, what email that they read that made it. If sure. Dean was first or if we was first. Yeah. But it was, the common thing was two people hit us up talking about whoever y'all are. Yeah, 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 What day? What day good for what, you? What, he, no, what he, time? He, yeah, he hit us up like yeah, it's yeah. Thursday at 6 goods. We're like, what? He like, for Jay. And we're like, hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, we'll I was, look, I was at work. We I left that way too. Left, dog, yeah. they, don't even, yeah, they don't understand yeah, the they magnitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, shit, nigga, that's like for y'all. When he hit me up tomorrow, so hey, what day good for you? We we, we know you having your baby on such such day, nigga. We want you the first of uh, December. I hit this nigga like, cuz I'm on. Yeah. I'm like, get one for my first interview, dog. Yeah, yeah. Right, but, but that's but, what, and we see we ain't even know that till you said it on our show. Yeah. But like, that's what I'm saying. That like, was a goal of mine for show. Like I told him, like beginning of the year, I do goals, but I don't like to do my goals in public. I like to do it to my personal. Like I write my notes. Like dog, I want this. I want that one that yeah and then i go back and revisit myself because i want to put it out there and then be, oh, you didn't do that you didn't do that i want yeah. to see myself like me and my wife was talking about this uh yesterday like i come out uh my cousin was like dog you what's your new year's resolution i'm like i really don't put it out there i, I keep it to myself in my notes and just work on it yeah. and then i go and revisit and see like damn did i do this no i ain't get that better job fuck bell tire <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Anything no. I don't get, I say everything we got is for us. You but no, and that's saying? why I like fuck with y'all when I was on the show because y'all just take a negative and like y'all said when I was like, dog, no three years in Texas was my worst years, and dog was like, no, nah, those are your best years because you in your situation right now because of that, right? Yeah. Because three, yeah, yeah, like I, I look at it all ten this years from now. Yeah, it's, I'm just preparing ten yeah. for ten years from now, for five years from yeah, now. Yeah, like you see, you working out, you working out <laughs> for your forties. You yeah, might not yeah. see this motherfucking progressor right now. But I, yeah, yeah. You gonna see some half. And, 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 and when dog come to fight, when my niece boyfriend come to fight him, uh, I'm coming for yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right, nigga. Bye, nigga. Right, I, yeah, listen, listen. I, nigga, I did. I, 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 I learned that in motherfucking 2020, nigga. I, you know what I'm saying? I learned that judo chop in 2020, yeah, my keep nigga. These at yeah, back, you know what I'm saying? Me? But. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, and it just kept growing from there, though. Just, you yeah, know what the I'm saying? Kept like, and up, when, right. I, when I say growing, like we had 
we had a listenership goal, right? Yeah. So the first time, the first goal is anybody we don't know, right? Okay. And then when you, I live here, so I know I don't know nobody. I don't have nobody personally in Virginia per se. Mm -hmm. So when I see Virginia on the list, okay, that's or one goal. Or you see Turkey, or you see like that, Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, how they get up on it? I don't know, yeah. right? But I've been at work and niggas done walked up to me like, bro, that's you and your brother on that podcast, yeah, yeah. your voice. And I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, 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 it be shit like that. Like, it's never like, niggas might get a gazillion list you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying but like did any of those listens touch anybody yeah did yeah. any of those you know what I'm did saying did lead to a, a follower or somebody no, no, but that, not even that like, like, that's why we used, we used to do a book of the episodes not cause we I mean we avid readers but we want niggas to gain some of this knowledge mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying cause we had to pick these books up like we read we reading definitions bro and then I'm listening to a podcast yesterday and they reading definitions on they shit yeah. and we felt like that podcast had they bigger than us but yeah. we felt like they been jocking our yeah, style yeah, yeah. with so certain little you said, moves you said niggas gonna be stealing your shit and you gonna hear it yeah, 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 yeah. So we've been reading definitions From forever. Day one. Now yeah. I'm hearing niggas reading definitions. So you talking about like when y'all do y'all shit at the beginning of the what's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. Now they didn't necessarily do the shit at the beginning, but now they read in definitions. Yeah. But I, but I get it. But yeah. I understand it. And For sure. and see, to me. I would rather a nigga just be like, yeah, I fuck with the connected experience, and then you could you 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 you, no, you, 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 you could take a spoon of the sauce and eat it. Yeah, you, could just, you just be one hundred. You yeah, gotta yeah. Shut it first, cause that's what I did with Snoop. I did some little shit, this or that, and I'm like, dog, that shit was dope. Let me go ahead and do that shit. But I'm gonna say, hey, I got this. shit. Yeah, you but we did that too on yeah. our shit with Snoop, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But but I ain't but never go. We got it. I, yeah, Snoop. we we just gonna and do this today. And then that didn't fit our show, so yeah. we get rid of it. You feel what I'm saying? I haven't did since. I haven't did in a while, nigga. Like, cause like that's why I like to fit my own shit. Like, damn, I ain't heard nobody say this. I read and buy him, he like, that shit dope. Like, all right, bet. And right. then I'll be happy as hell. He'd be like, dog, I got this shit for my nephew. He'd be on the morning show with the shit, nigga, top three. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll be in that bitch. And, and that's all that is, dog. <laughs> you just got to show recognition yeah. because everybody learning from everybody. For sure. man. Everybody yeah. learning from everybody, bro. So when the nigga don't give you, you feel what I'm saying? And, and it's just like music and shit. Motherfucker think the biggest artist, man, them niggas ain't coming up with that shit. Everybody, be, you, you, you burnt out. Yeah, you hear sure. some shit and you get inspired. Yeah. Just say where you got it from, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because Okay, if you stealing from a nigga, your shit can stop growing. Yeah. And they go shoot past yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, sure. And then nigga, when a nigga get on that level, you could be like, and these niggas used to be stealing our shit. Oh, whole ass niggas, you could do that, but you don't have to do that because yeah, yeah, yeah. the the cream rise to the top. Yeah, and right, nigga right. know that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And, and and that don't come from being genuine. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then we ain't with that. You yeah, feel we me? like yeah, we just ain't with no sucker shit. Like I don't give a fuck the popular opinion if i ain't with it because it's sucker shit i'm go like you can't say fuck the police then call the police when you need help <laughs> it's either fuck the police or it's not you can't say fuck snitches and rats and all that then your brother starts snitching and then not oh, okay yeah. it's cool or you know what i'm saying if Man, my daddy is snitch and i stand on them principles mm -hmm. then i can't fuck with pops because pops a snitch but not my pops but yeah, i'm just yeah, saying yeah, if yeah, it yeah, was yeah. my pops <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But but motherfuckers don't be they be they be loyal to ideas yeah. of loyalty because so, they don't know what loyalty really is. So the last question I want to ask about the podcast, dog, is like, how do y'all go about finding guests? What no, we just reach out, out, bro. Reach if out. we think you dope and we yeah. don't know you, we reaching out, man. Be good. That's a, you. You only go say two things, yes, yes or no. Or no. Yeah. You either can make it or you can't. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then if and then like we said about when we met Dean. Okay, so say your manager, if you got a manager, if you big enough and, and got enough work to have a manager, if they say no, but you don't even know about that. Yeah, see, we don't so hold that against I, people either. I don't either. hold that against you because once you bump into me and I start talking to you, I'll be like, damn, we tried to get you on one time. And they be like, what? I yeah. didn't know that. Okay, well, you know now, so let's come yeah, on. What's up? So yeah. I can't hold that against you. Yeah. And if you say no, I don't hold that against you. You know. Yeah, I'm not going to not like you. It, because it is what it is. If I some, think you some dope. Some people with... not even worth talking yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Hell you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, Only because people... they give bad interviews. Yeah, I know. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but for <laughs> everybody you like yeah. ain't going to yeah. mess with you. And just because I like you don't mean I got to do anything like right with now, you. They probably like the easy interview because like... I'm gonna y'all chop it up. Like I ain't gotta worry about like, damn, I gotta go ahead and pull some teeth to get this answer. Like, yeah. yeah, nigga, don't come sit down in front of the mic if you don't want to talk. That's just <laughs> basically what, what it boiled down well, to. That leads to this. If if, if y'all mind asking, outside of me, give me a top five interview. You say you say <laughs> like bars? Yeah. Who y'all feel? Who y'all feel like y'all? If y'all had to get, cause I like to do a lot of top three, top five. Yeah. And I know I'm on y'all tops, but y'all ain't gotta include me. No, no, you are not But you are though. Like, like, because uh, I felt like when I, I judge them by how I walk up when we walk yeah. away. Well, how we walk away? The whole yeah. I sent the link. You like dog. That shit was a good interview. And them dudes who interviewed you was was dope. Yeah, Shout out to my dog Thanks. Cheesy, dog. I love yeah. you, Cheesy. Yeah. Cheesy, what you do? You can come sit down and talk to us, too. <laughs> yeah.
Well, Eshan is my number one. Yeah, Eshan. Well, that's why we started, started to talk to Eshan. Yeah. Because he, <laughs> he didn't have, he only had like five interviews out. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So and, and, then, and then again, we the reference, even though he had been out, we go online and then a nigga is retelling the story Eshan told to us exclusively. Yeah. My brother hit him up. Stop that sucker shit. If you ain't gonna say where you we got, got it from, from stop don't say that yeah, stuff. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, you don't I even know. have to respond back yeah. because we know from doing our research that he's never told, told that story. story. And if you wasn't there, yeah. then how can you tell the story? Yeah. Oh, you saw our shit, man. Quit that yeah. You say you seen it. Like, yeah. You say you seen it. Yeah. 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 We like, because that's how tuned in to shit we are. And nobody alerted me that dog was telling that story. I'm checking the nigga out. Hey, dog, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you recycling my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Eshaim is my number one. Jay Prince is my number two. Okay. Uh, I, I, they ain't even in order for me. It like, ain't even order, yeah, bro. Yeah, TK so, Kirkland. Yeah, I would say. But them are all the famous say, people. No, I no, feel no. like. Who was like? It's so many dope. You got to think we've been doing this since 2017, and we just said yeah. with some dope motherfuckers. Yeah, man. I just say Esham is number one because if we, we like, we, so remember we told you we started in November. Yeah. By January we were sitting down with Esham. I could have walked away then. Yeah. yeah. Our yeah. first interview that next January was Esham. I could have walked yeah. away then. Yeah, I got yeah. my al- I got my Dead Flowers album signed because yeah. I, I bought the original album that never been opened from a white boy who I work with who loved Esham too. Yeah. He had some extra. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I bought that bitch. Esham signed it. It's in the frame right now on my wall i could have walked away then but, but you know what just to be honest bro all of them are my favorite yeah, and this is yeah. why i'm not on no cliche shit because i put in work for all of those interviews so and we learn so much so the same amount of work that i put in to interview Eshan, yeah. i put in uh, inter- interview more yeah. more to interview you because yeah, it, you know what i'm saying me and Pete, like you got the paperwork you, you ready like, yeah you yeah, yeah, like, yeah because this shit because this shit's serious this shit's serious bro it, 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 that's why we had fun like because i could be at work and be thinking of a question but see i'm trying to make it seem like uh, conversation piece, like. But I don't, so we don't we don't write we don't read off the paper, right? We don't just, write questions. I don't. Just stood out to you yeah, about that's how I do us. my notes. Like, yeah, so yeah. our paper is really shit that stood out. This to get about back to. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, I wanted to. Uh, and then from listening to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, I do with my notes, like I have questions just in case. This might be a dead interview. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll be like, bet. I got this shit to go. But back if you on. do it right, like, even though, if you, you like, wait a minute, because if you do it right, everything on here gonna come out plus. Uh-huh. You feel and that, yeah, saying? yeah, that's just a, a reference, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. But like when you said you want to know why he felt the way he felt about my pops going yeah. to jail, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like that let us know you listen. Yeah. So in return. I have to listen to you before yeah. I prepare for you, but yeah. I only knew that from listening to you. Yeah, yeah, you, for you, sure. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not like I was listening, waiting on you to say yeah. anything about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. said it, and we, I'm like, yo, you, he want to know why you felt like yeah. that. You know yeah, because I'm, I'm like, like I said, I hate to do it. Like, dog, they uh, they interview buddy, but I'm listening to see. I ain't gonna lie. I listened to see what was the difference between us two. And then I'm like, dog, these these motherfuckers cold. Like, I like that shit, dog. Like, they, the way, and they mention my appreciate name. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm all hype, nigga. I'm in that bitch and work like, nigga, feeling good. Nigga, stop doing what I'm doing and we won. This to hear my name. Because it takes shit like that, dog, to know you <laughs> on the right this, path. They these niggas know me? You feel what I'm I saying? Bet, like, it takes shit you like listen, that. Because you could listen, but so. In, our, in retrospect, you could have been having a fucked up day, right? Yeah, yeah, and you could be feeling like, don't nobody, you could be like, these motherfuckers that work on my head, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then you you feel recognized for what you do for that sure. ain't got shit to do with your wife, your kids, work, nothing. This is who Shot is. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Somebody getting to know, I'm getting to know about your wife, your kids, and your yeah. work through you talking to me, listening. Yeah, yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? And I'm not afraid to be like, I listen to that. I listen to all this shit. Yeah, if yeah. I, when I see shit, I press play at least once, bro. Yeah. I'm not, I listen to so much content, I'm, I'm like, looking for New and content. like you had said, like you could tell my music, I'm in competition with people. But at the end of the day, I am. With, with just, just, a, just a personal chance to myself. But at the end of the day, I recognize like when somebody else is dope. Yeah, 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 yeah and that's, that's what that, it be. Yeah. Just cause y'all, just cause your show dope, don't take no dopeness yeah, away from like, us. Uh, yeah, my shit sweet, but fuck everybody else is like. Yeah, no, and, 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 that's a haters mentality, yeah. dog. That's a haters mentality. That's a nigga who go cross you. Yeah, that's a nigga who go cross you. That's sure. a, so it could be, yeah. it could be a competition within myself just to bring greatness to myself. But yeah, it yeah. still ain't, ain't nothing for me to say. Hey, man, they dope. Yeah, this yeah. I ain't shot so many people out. People in repost like, dog, like that meant the world to me. Just yeah, to say yeah, that, like, yeah. because when you recognize for what you want to do, is no feeling like that. Yeah, yeah you it, it ain't, ain't got nothing to think do with money. This, that ain't got nothing to do this. with nothing else. This, no this politics. The, this the coldest lyric. And this the coldest lyric of 2020. When kind Con- when Conway said he met Beyonce and told his girl and she started crying. And he said he didn't know if that's cause she was a big Beyonce fan yeah. or at that moment she realized he was the motherfucking man. Duh. Right? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was because in real life she realized he was the motherfucking man. Yeah. Because, because if you Beyonce ever been on the opposite side of 
saying you dope. She with this nigga every day. Yeah, like, damn. Nigga, I was in my wife right face saying that like, like I'm a motherfucking and, and, man. And, 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 I tell my wife, like, how you gonna feel when this podcast blow up? It's blow, like, it's blow, it's blow up, bro. Yeah. It, 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 and she, cause she, yeah. and she, you know, I don't know. If she like, she hate why I say my music. Cause sometimes I talk about you know chicks and shit. But she like the podcast a little bit better than music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so she always showing hell. I'm like, why you showing hell love on the podcast but not the music? You be saying some crazy shit on the music. Like, <laughs> plus through the podcast, since it's a weekly thing, she might think people getting to know yeah. who you are more. And she know what podcast to share and what podcast not to share. Yeah. Cause she she teach. So like, all right, I, I might hey, don't share that one. <laughs> We're talking hella reckless. Like, but right. that's part of who you are. So her, whoever she's sharing it with, should know. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, and once they share with records. one person, they can't not make them listen to the rest. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? They, that's what I'm saying. You got you got playback value, or what I mean, replay value. What I mean by that is, if they starting at this episode, yeah. they're gonna want to go back go and back. listen to the other. And, and that's, that's one what thing why I catalog my, is so important. I try to pride myself on is to be able to talk to the smartest, the rapper, the hooper, whoever. I want to be able be able to have a conversation with anybody. Well, you can, and that's what we do, and what we do. Is we take out what you do mm -hmm. because so many motherfuckers get caught up and say a nigga who play basketball and might think he dumb. This nigga might be an astrophysicist. Hell yeah. That's way more important to me than hooping Hell yeah, to know sure. that you top yeah, science. You, sure. know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's science, math. That's all shit that come yeah. from Africans. Hell you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So it's like, damn, nigga, you you got it. Hell think yeah. about this, dog. We start math at what one plus one, mm -hmm. right? Then it's people who who look at one plus one and say, how did we get one? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go deeper into yeah. that for us to start at one plus one. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I look count at start that. with zero anyway. Yeah, count yeah, start with zero. That's a big misconception. Right, right. Because <laughs> counting is only zero to nine and then you start over ten. Yeah. It's zero. One with a zero in front of it and you go to 20, nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you feel yeah, me? So that's, that's how, that's how you should teach kids how to count. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, nigga, you know, my daughter go to school and the one in kindergarten, I step in the kindergarten class. Hey. Crown start with zero yeah, yeah, yeah. because if you tell telling a motherfucker you start with one, you're lying. Yeah. Because then how you gonna get them to understand ten For sure. if you didn't get them to understand zero? Yeah, because it's zero and motherfucking ten. Right. Yeah. It's only. It's only nine numbers, bro. It's only nine numbers. You got the gems. They won't pass yeah, it's it's only nine yeah. numbers, bro. For you sure. feel what I'm saying? Zero to nine. Well, it's ten numbers, but it's zero to nine. But you know what I'm saying? So think of like that's more important and yeah. to know a nigga know that. And then you debunk the myth of a nigga being a dumb athlete or yeah. just a rapper, yeah. just a podcast, yeah. just a, 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 a nigga who work it for. Yeah, for right? sure. We only do this shit because that's what's available. If we, if we, nigga, if we lived in Utah, we would be working in mines. Yeah, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? For Look, sure. for, looking for oil and shit. You feel me? So it's just we want to find out who you are. Fuck what you do because we'll find out what you, we know what you do. That's why you here. Hell but yeah. who are you? you yeah, feel yeah, what for sure. yeah, what's your story? Yeah. So before we get into the top three, dog, my man SJ is the author, dog. Got the motherfucker Animal Instinct. Yeah, yeah, Animal Instinct, the Urban and, Jungle. And he turned into uh, uh, animation. animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So as so I read, and like I can say I had busy fucking couple yeah. of weeks and stuff. He sent me the what's name, but I know it's about you know saying these rappers and stuff. You got motherfucking leaps and jumps. <laughs> for sure. So I thought about y'all immediately, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what my five year old say. That's your uncle. Yeah. So then you got you know what I'm saying moms and you got the pops and you know some shit happened to him, but y'all gotta read the book. Yeah. So like like how did this come into play? Like you wanted to write and stuff, and then turn it into an animation, which I see. Within the first chapter that, you know, saying the first story, it can be something that can lead up to an every week thing. Yeah. So basically, man, uh, I tell the story that my cousin introduced me to rap. I was introduced to rap and creative writing around the same time. So third mm. or fourth grade or whatever. And then creative writing, man, we had to write a story. Mm. And Animal Instinct to Urban Jungle is bits and pieces of that story from when I was a kid. I just kept certain shit yeah, too, close yeah, to me. Like yeah, yeah. the the... The Bunny Hop House, that was in the original story. Yeah, which was right. just a it was, it was a just a page. page. Yeah, I saw yeah, Bunny Hop House. Yeah, so yeah, the Bunny yeah. Hop House, which is the speakeasy that the uh rabbits run, uh that was in the original story. It was yeah. always based on some rabbits. But when I was a kid and I wrote it, they were shooting shit up and they yeah. was they was they was they Hella was wild. human. Yeah. Hella human eyes, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So man, when I finally it was so it's always been in my heart, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The pen game, you know what I'm saying? So it's always been in my heart, man. So when I really find Decided to write it. It came so easy and so natural. It didn't take me long at all. I wrote it, self-published, put it out, won a war. Uh, uh, Elite, uh, Eli, uh, Elite, 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 Elite oh. 2020 short story fiction of the year. Uh, I won a gold medal for that. Shit, hella big, big ass gold medal. Got yeah. a plaque with you know what I'm saying, congratulating me and all of that. And um, I said ever since I've been telling people that I was writing a book, I was telling them that we was turning it into a cartoon, but it's actually an animated series. Yeah. And, um, 
that nobody's ever done that. Nobody's yeah. ever independently released a book and put it out as an animated series. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's history. The black, first black author to do that. You for know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. And I was in the Publishers Weekly. That's the oldest running publication in mm -hmm. in in the history of publications in yeah. America. I had a big ass article in there. I've been in a Source magazine for writing. I've been. You know what I'm saying? It's really just. It's coming with ease. It's so natural because it's it's just I'm walking in my purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. And just to add to that, and when we were saying like how Inkster is so important and shit, so being from Inkster with all that history, you have to get in there some type of yeah, way. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like so, he uh, uh, award winning author. Okay. Right. We go turn it into an animation. Right. But we from Inkster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. niggas gonna have to mention that when they talk yeah. about because there's so many greats from Inkster. Inkster High was the first integrated high school yeah. in the state of Michigan. Yeah. But they tore that building down and they shouldn't have been able to because that should have been a historical site. Yeah, for That's sure. when it was on Harrison and Michigan Avenue. My yeah. grandma went there and my, but my then, grandma met my granddaddy yeah, at that my school. Granddaddy yeah. and my grandma <laughs> met there. And then was the, when they built the new building was the first graduating class. But yeah. it's so much rich history from Inkster that how could you be from somewhere and not want to be a part of that? Yeah, for sure. Right. It, so, it's hard not to be for people. Just, like uh, even even with writing a book, man, it was just it just that that's what this is. This is the pen that I started writing the notes with. This is oh, the actual shit. pen, that's and then dope. I had the jeweler make it and own the pen and say the date that it came out, and it got my initials because my me and my daughter share the same initials. So yeah. this hers, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So dope, like, I told her if anything happened to me, just make sure you get all my jewelry. You yeah, know what I'm saying and stuff yeah. like that. Cause, and so I come back from you said you bought that jewelry for your homeboy. You got locked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And he and was it, like, that bitch missing. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm See, you can't take this and it, this this got her name on. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the uh, but the story is basically, man, it's it's about it's about love, life, loyalty, family, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and uh, and stuff like that. But it's from an animal's perspective, and yeah. what I mean from an animal's perspective, like everybody done seen deer running across the street wherever you at, right? Yeah. So. The deer just going to do his thing. It's yeah. two of them. He got his bitch with him. He trying to go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you whole ass niggas come through hey, and knock the bitch hit down the and hit her. Yeah. yeah. Or like me, like lately, I don't throw food away no more. Like I throw it, like I live kind of in the woods or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I throw it in the wooded area. So just like imagine being a possum and you about to go to your bitch house and you yeah. come up on some motherfucking broccoli. Yeah. You yeah. like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely about to knock this bitch down now. So. Hell yeah, bring some food. That, but the, the whole thing is that they their own world. So right. like even in the story, Leaps and Jumps, it's the mushroom dealers. Yeah. Because you could go anywhere in the world and you'll find some mushrooms or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and when I sure. talk about money, in the story is gold and silver because mm -hmm. I could go right. We might go in your backyard, dig up and find gold. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you seeing rabbits with you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. pulling up in cars, jumping yeah. out with money. I didn't make it humanized, man. But the, but then for the animated series, yeah. they walk up. Right. They walk up right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. And they got on clothes like yeah. leaps and jumps. These niggas got on. Uh, sweatsuits, sweatsuits yeah. because when you see me and my brother, normally yeah. we, uh, well, I was loyal to the brand, so I was in the Adidas sweatsuit. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But man, it's nothing like it. Like we, we seen the first episode. Uh, HB win. Comics, HB Comics is working on it. That's uh, Herb Tone and what's young dog name? Marquise. Yeah, yeah. Like we got like a child prodigy yeah. working on it. We so got what's, what's gonna be on like YouTube or it's uh, gonna, the whole world gonna see it. The whole even, world I don't even want to say what it's okay, gonna okay, be on because I, I, I'm it's magical, chill, yeah. so yeah. I fuck around and say HBO and I yeah. just blocked out a whole. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Like you know, you, 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 you feel me though? So yeah. it's just gonna be available to the whole world soon, when it's time. Soon, you know what I'm saying? Soon, yeah. 2021. 2021. We got a date in mind. You know what I'm saying? But if that that's just a date we had. Last show y'all did, he was like, "No, you wanted to put out a little the early. trailer." Yeah, yeah. Like, no, so what we was gonna do? Back. Yeah, what we was gonna do? We was initially go put out the first episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just put it on the YouTube, check the temperature or whatever. Yeah. But you you can't gauge no numbers. Yeah. So even if we would have put that first episode out and a million people watched it, that yeah. still could have been selling ourselves short. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. but it's Animal Instinct, the Urban Jungle. You can go to my website, one the number one sljackson.com, one sljackson.com, and you could order the book. You could read some of the press that I got about me. Like I said, I like so, and then I started the hashtag respect urban authors because uh. Just when you black and you say you're an author and you got yeah. braids and you got gold and all that yeah, on, they, yeah. they think you write for sure. street lit, yeah, urban yeah, fiction yeah, and all yeah, that. Sure. And ain't nothing wrong with that, but yeah. I don't write that. So don't don't judge a book by yeah. its cover. That's so, basically what yeah, respect yeah. urban, urban authors, authors. Let me, let me yeah. ask you this about the book, dog. You know, y'all rap together. Y'all did a podcast together. Was it something to separate yourself? 
Yeah, yeah, because we do all that together, but at the end of the day, I'm Santuan, he Antoine. We are yeah. a thousand percent different, you know sure. what I'm saying? Sure. So he actually had did a project with his family, and I asked to get in on it, and he ain't let me in on it. <laughs> and I kind of felt a certain way, like, like because that was the first time. Like, first of all, I asked to get in on it. It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't nothing. I, I, so, the, 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 but, uh, so you got a preference that, right? You know what I'm saying? So... Because we twins, we do so much together, together right? Because yeah. we family, yeah, and we sure. always want to do business with family, yeah. right? So we twins, but like I told them, we family, but we got separate households. Yeah. You got to do something for your household. Yeah. I got to do something for my household, for sure. right? Because if my household benefit, yeah. you my twin brother, some type of way you, you gonna, gonna benefit, benefit too, right? Yeah. right? And this is from the jump. So we got a game called Family Game Night. Right, and uh, it's about two and a half years old, and my daughter was asking me and my wife questions, right, yeah. about her great granddaddy. And you feel me saying because yeah. who know about their great granddaddy? Yeah. Not too many people, yeah. so you got to tell them about it, right? So we come with this trivia game, and you play with your family, and the first person to spell the word family win. Yeah. So you might have a question, it's, it's two type of questions. So, uh, one question might be the person to your left, what is their grandfather's birthday? Yeah. Now, if we plan, and I'm to your left, and we cousin. My grandfather, your uncle, yeah. you still should know his yeah, birthday. For sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or to be like, uh, you got to pay income tax for every family member you got in mm -hmm. the game, every immediate family member, so your whole family. So if you and your wife is playing, you got to give a letter back to the pile. Yeah. So if you had F A M I L, you got to give, if you got two people playing from your yeah. household, you got to put them two letters back. Yeah. Right? So when we was developing this, you know, he want to get in because we do so much work together. Yeah. But it's like, no, bro, you got to do something for your household. Yeah. And that's only to show that we still powerful without, yeah, without each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. every single thing. So yeah. when he said he felt the way about that, like he had to understand that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because so, we are different. Like, yeah, I got, yeah. I, like I said, I've been locked in with my wife for 13 years, dog. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I got to leave a legacy. Our yeah. last names, both Jackson, but we got to have separate legacies, separate legacies. Yeah. for yeah. our daughters and shit to understand. Because look. The book, his legacy. Yeah, his daughter. I can't take for granted who his daughter go be. She could say to my daughters, "My daddy wrote that book." Yeah, we living like this because my daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we do the animated series together, none of them can say that yeah. our fathers did this. Now she could say, "My daddy wrote the book." That led to our parents working together mm. and building this. So the book, his legacy. Yeah. The game, our legacy. The animation, both our legacy. Yeah. So our families got their own legacy because yeah, our yeah. daughters all got... So my initials, ADJ, to my daughter's initials. Yeah. His initials, SLJ. This his daughter's initials. Sure. So we gonna live on forever through them. You feel what I'm saying? And like, and I'm even setting it up where my daughter can't do business in her married name when yeah. she get married. But you can't set that yes, up. Yes, I can. You can't. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't sell this and when you do business, you have you to mean? do what business. You you so if she get married, yeah. if she get so married and she shall be Shelby Ron's. Yeah. The, when you do business for our comp for the company oh, that, that you, no, you yeah. didn't say that. I was trying. You <laughs> were telling me what I can't do. Because, because you were telling me what I can't, can't do. Because people go do what they want to do. Right, right. But you, you as soon as you start doing this, this ain't yours no more. Yeah, but that's kind of selfish. You, man. Yeah. So no, that's so not selfish. You not a nigga ain't about to marry my daughter and get what I work for and turn that's my exactly company. What a nigga no, that's not what I You can't do that. I'm setting it up where you can't do that. You can't sell the company and your husband can't be on no board or no shit like that and turn it into his a nigga will marry your daughter and divorce her and get half what I work for. No, nah, dog, that ain't niggas so be so crap. Hold on, so how would how would they do that if she get married to somebody? Like, how would they go into place? She right? has to do business if she's doing business to represent that to represent anything no that name. come off of this. Yeah. She has to do business as S L Jackson. That's yeah. why you're S L Jackson. So when she go into what's name? When she go on like a uh, a shower with anybody podcast or something, and they be asking her about the stuff, and she be I'm like, yo, your, your last name is Brooks. But you, <laughs> you right? But see, she her last name might be Brooks, and nobody know because yeah. she right. right. And yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I was gonna so, say. So, so, so this is why it's, it's, it's S L Jackson. Yeah, because that's when what it comes to that. Yeah. When it comes to shit that that I, you work for. that I work for. Right. So what if he got something that offer or bring to the table? Well, I, feel I like don't. Those. I don't care what he <laughs> has to bring to the table. I'm saying no, like I'm not. Yeah, what I work for. That's your family. But that's the same though. I wouldn't think that my like four. No, no. Listen, four is a Firestone. We didn't know that she was Mary Firestone more than we knew that she was Mary Four. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We knew, but but I'm saying the general public. I mean, because that's what it used to be. Like because what type of four tires used to be on four? Firestone. That was. The marriages, the businesses marrying each yeah. other. We just use them. That's what kids. the Vietnam yeah. War was about, too. That's, that is what the Vietnam yeah, War was about. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, <laughs> but but yeah. So I wrote the book, man, and um, 
It's just when people read it, man, it's just real. It's just that, yeah. that regardless because if you animals can take or them not, animals. Yeah, yeah, you could take it. It's just true yeah, to the Yeah, because like, like I said, the, the first motherfucking story, talking about the, uh, the rabbits getting too far away from the way they're supposed to be at. Yeah. That's like yeah. me, nigga. I'm going to ride my well, bike. Okay, so right, right. Okay, so I'll give you an example, right? So you said leaps and jumps is us, right? Yeah. And then uh, the dove that's yeah. looking over on black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he that's know, my cousin. Yeah. Because he passed away. Yeah, that's he, know, cousin, he, know, he know your pops and stuff, so he know like. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's what I'm saying. But that's why he in the sky. Like, okay, that's why okay, a bird, okay. he in the sky looking over us. Like, see, so it's little gems like that. Like, it's like, like right right now, I'm writing, you know what I'm saying? And the project we working on now you know what i'm saying like i can't wait i can't yeah, wait for the sure. world yeah. to know that we're working on this project yeah. but it's still just being loyal to the principles of that project that we're working on yeah. and people will understand like when they go back and listen to this after they see what the project is they're like oh okay yeah for but sure. that, that's Hell just yeah. what it is man yeah, we, dope, will, man. we would love for everybody to uh get a a book they get family game night uh fuck with the college of hip hop dot com i mean dot org we got the packages um fuck with it whatever we doing man because we do like yeah. when we sit down and if we if we really talked about everything that we got going on you would think it was like a driving team like, yeah. you would think it was a thousand niggas behind yeah, but, it's just, but it's just yeah, us back yeah. to back it ain't nobody behind us we back to back and the so. funny thing about it, whenever i come with idea i hit my brother up i hit my uncle up yeah These and that's why i said just do business with yeah. family man like i, I tell of course I, my wife they gonna know they in the house with me but like when i think about idea i hit them up like what y'all think about this or like let's do this or whatever whatever like yeah. it's just important but at the end of the day you gotta have your own identity too yeah, yeah classic yeah. pothead i'm motherfucking shot for everybody yeah. he's sugar good night <laughs> <laughs> but 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 uh but yeah the, it was to separate us identity but, uh, wise, but i think that was like yeah because yeah. everybody gonna probably think Dang, they rap together they did a podcast together right like, yeah what it do was they do separate can they can they hold it yeah, yeah and like, that's what i'm saying like so in in the uh in the book world, you yeah. only know I got a twin because I talk about yeah. it so much. Yeah. You know but what then, I'm what if like would y'all wrestling um heads coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if y'all was the rockers and then one of them become Marty and one of them Shawn Michaels? Like, but, but, but who's to say that Marty Janetti ain't the nigga who trained Shawn Michaels still to this day? You don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what if they really what, wanted Marty Janetti and Marty Janetti said, "Well, the only way I do it is if Shawn Michaels." Yeah, because yeah. Shawn Michaels really wanted it. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And people so, always take stuff like that for, for granted. granted. You yeah, know what I'm saying? saying? The best person in the world at whatever they do got a coach, bro. Yeah, hell you yeah. Feel what I'm sure. hell yeah. And that's, that's why fact. like, I always make sure I say this in public, bro. Nobody is self-made. Mm -hmm. People are self-designed. You put and in your that's image. Your, that's what I told me. Yeah, you put like, in your yeah. head the image you want to be, and then the, the pieces fall into place, yeah. and people start coming around you and self-designing yourself. Yeah. And I, I mean, I use that analogy because people always talk about they self-made. No, bro. Yeah. Want to know why? Because someone makes money and yeah. if you basing it off money some money had, yeah. I had to See, like, I said, and like you said like y'all said I do it I do it just for a challenge to challenge myself yeah like damn alright fuck it nigga even though if, if it ain't nobody against me oh y'all against me just yeah. to challenge myself and see how, how far I can go with this well, oh you know what I want to ask so, you yeah, wait a minute about yeah. coaching did, did your kids follow the follow the shot Follow what shot? Follow the shot. He know because he didn't know what they He ain't know because it ain't click up. Follow they shot. Don't follow the shot. No, you got to. Yeah, you know, you know if your shit gonna go in or or not. When you shoot that bitch, you know oh that bitch ugly. I hate seeing niggas not follow the shot. And then you leaving that motherfucker follow through, knowing that bitch ain't going in. You man, people would get so much many more rebounds. Offensive rebounds. My whole philosophy, dog, and he could attest to this, dog, was when he came to my game, my team could be. Trash, but guess what they about to do? Lock your ass yeah, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they about yeah. to play some motherfucking. I mean, well, we was we was elementary hoop stars. Like right? <laughs> you know, at, at that time, we was the best that you could be on that level. So like, but I got trophies to show my daughter. Yeah, like, like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we earned them. Like yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So because yeah. respect is earned, is not given, and it can't sure. be bought, man. In any and situation. it can be transferred. It can be transferred to a certain extent from parent to child mm -hmm. or from family member to child. Yeah. Like I can respect you because of him, but then I got to get to know you to know yeah, yeah, you see, like, earn yeah. my respect because you like you cool with Q. Then that's like. A, a rap nigga when you come off the branch. Yeah. If you if you sound under Jay Z, you gonna expect like, all right, bet let me go ahead and give a listen, but that, damn he trash. Yeah, oh, you know? I, I can even give it to you one better. Big brother, little brother. I've never been as cool with the little brother as I have with the big brother because I see traits in you that's not in your big brother. Yeah. So I can tell when y'all separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this must when he went to college. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Because you just got some shit in you. Yeah. It could be an age difference. It could yeah. be whatever. But it could be a time like it, a, it, a time it, difference. Yeah, like, yeah. Because, a time yeah. and a world difference. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Do y'all do y'all give each other game on relationships? Like yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Like I said, I've been married for 13 <laughs> okay. years and shit. So do you, you pass out game or do you listen to game from, from? I mean, I listen to. I mean, it's my closest advisor. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, so in the circle of influence, I don't know nobody like my age. 
age you've been married this long. Mm -hmm. I'm 38. I've been married since I was 25. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I know one person. That's it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know one person. So, you know, too, because you know me. Yeah. For real, though. So, I've been married for 13 years. So, like, some of this shit he might go through. I never give him advice or suggestions. I just... Yeah, yeah. He just get past the whole game. Because you can't... Can nobody follow... Yo, yo, blueprint, path or right. whatever. Because yeah. I'm not married to his wife and he's yeah. not married to mine. Exactly. So, so it can't be the same that, as that shit. I just be like, shit, when that came up in my marriage, or, you know, yeah, I, I, I adjust it like this. Yeah, yeah you know but yeah, saying? so I, I, t I listen to him and then I apply what, yeah. the, the knowledge that I've obtained yeah. what, what, or whatever. What can fit and what can't. You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, what's, yeah. yeah, what's going on now? Man, you know y'all. Yeah, yeah, I, I say I'm happy y'all came on the show, dog. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. show y'all some good dudes, man. Y'all always passing out knowledge whenever it's any negative. Uh, uh, comment come y'all fuck that nigga that's a positive yeah, shit yeah you gotta stop you yeah, gotta right? stop you gotta, yeah, you gotta, gotta condition yeah, like that. yourself but yeah. that come from gardening and right then, you gotta yeah. take that root and out but, the ground and then as me I'm never too good like, no fuck that I'm like oh you know what that was right like yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying that's, that's true shit we just here to just here to help yeah. bro like sure. whatever niggas you know what I'm saying well sis niggas hate to say you helped yeah, yeah. Chris Paul that's a Chris Paul ass nigga <laughs> no cause I heard Chris Paul an asshole so I gotta get to the nigga I'm gonna talk you to die I'm a floor general my nigga I'm gonna Zeke you to die and then punch a nigga if he try to you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I would touch you the ball to go fuck some hoes. <laughs> you know, Patrick Johnson. So, yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, I like shit. that one. You know what I'm saying? We always end on, uh, on top three, man. I give you all a topic. Y'all give me all top three. All right. All right, go. All right, top three rappers. This is all time or this currently? All time. I can't answer that because it switched so right, much. Curly, I curly. just know Eshaim number one on right, the list curly, for me. Curly, curly, right okay, Curly, it's a it's a guy from Pittsburgh, California. His name A Wax. This nigga is phenomenal, dog. Okay. He got an album right now, uh, still pulling strings or pulling more strings. I always forget the title. This album could compete with anything that people think of the marketplace. He killing shit. Uh, so I listen to him. I'm fucking with Conway Heavy. Conway Cold. Though. I told you that's the line of the year for me yeah, when Conway he said Cole. that because him I felt that. Him on like, nigga, Benny had a good project too. Yeah, Benny had a good project at the end, so that's him one two. And I then I'm Bodie James, dog. Bodie James, dog. Bodie James, yeah, James, yeah. James, yeah. James is the coldest nigga. Like man. I said, he fucked my nigga Peach. He, yeah, I met that yeah, nigga. Yeah. I met him at Mr. Allen's downtown. Yeah, and he said who he was. And I'm like, you fuck with Bodie. Yeah, you feel yeah. He, I don't know if you remember that, but that's I be tapped into the underground. Bodie James is. Phenomenal yeah. nigga. He fuck Griselda too. I, I put that nigga up against anybody because he say some slick ass All shit. Right, so yeah. for me, for me, I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I'm fucking with Drake or the Ruler right now. Hey, and you put me on somebody who who actually dope. That stupid, who stupid, um, stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I fuck stupid, with him. Yeah. I, I seen that shit. Yeah, yeah. I thought about you. I was gonna tell you too, and be like, yeah, he dope. See, you should have. Uh, <laughs> I fuck with so. Uh, this year, I just give you a, you know what I'm saying? St. John, man. I've been fucking oh, with St. John. St. John Heavy. Cole, he went, yeah, he yeah. went more. He fucking more and shit from Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, and then, see, but I just, right when, when, when Maul started pushing him, because that should be, that's marketing too. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Come yeah. on, they getting a million listens a week. But right before he mentioned him, I had started fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know why, dog. And that, yeah. I don't know what and I was Larry doing. Jones, yeah, Larry Jones. Dog, that, Larry hey, Jones. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. it's Cole. It's three people that my brother put me on before it was big. Larry Jones. He called Drake and Meek. Yeah. No, I put him on Meek. But Drake, like, because Drake was on Degrassi. Yeah. I'm like, who the fuck? And he had something with Trey Song. But see, this is what I'm saying. See, that's why you can't never judge a book by a yeah. cover. Now he running the motherfucking yeah. music industry. Yeah. Hell and yeah. niggas always say stupid shit like he an actor. All of these niggas <laughs> actors, nigga. <laughs> right, right. He's a paid one, actor. Right. Pick <laughs> one of them niggas by themselves, nigga. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Not yeah. even on no tough shit. You up like, oh, what's up? You know, yeah. like, damn, yeah. nigga. Right, nigga. Like, yeah. 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 Larry <laughs> June, though, just put some shit out Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Numbers, yeah. nigga. Numbers. Numbers. I fuck with And my nigga Curve God, he put me up on. Okay, so when you said we make you think that we like some Cali niggas or some shit, because Northern California music is our favorite genre of music besides Ishan. Like it went Ishan, Northern California music. You know what I'm saying? Another person, Larry Jones, Currency. I, currency, yeah. my nigga. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I love Currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they in the same uh, yeah. realm. But yeah. see, but Currency, another nigga we've been listening to since he was signing yeah. Cash Money No Hell Limit. Yeah. Like he was, he was on, one of the only niggas yeah. that signed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my yeah. baby. That's my baby. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's that energy, that's though. That's that energy. Yeah. So, that's hey, energy. if you answer that phone and tell him Santuan and Antoine right here, hey. that nigga. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. No, we no fuck that. Go ahead, Miles. What up, though? Nah, man, over here with uh, with the twins in the motherfucking studio and shit. Twins, my twins. Yeah, yeah, nigga, your twins. <laughs> <laughs> what, what up, up, my baby? What up? Hey, I still owe you something, dog. I got you. I'm about to, I'm about to put all that shit in a folder today, dog. I'm gonna give you the Google link.
Oh, they can fuck with that gout. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Man, you need to take care of that shit, my nigga. Hey, Doc, I'm going to call you later on, nigga. This is SJ. All right, then. No problem. Hit me up. All right, now I'm going I'm to get you that Google Drive link and shit. Uh, like, probably no later than tomorrow. Maybe today. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be drinking, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, cause that nigga gonna get it. He ain't getting your bitch today. Yeah, it might not get it. <laughs> ain't hook up on here. Alright, right. All right, baby. No, that's funny though. Yeah, that's yeah. what you got mentioned earlier. Like, but yeah, but see, but Doc, another nigga, really, bro. Oh, no. He we came through the door, man, and he gave us a shot, bro. Yeah. He he looked at us. We had on our Adidas and shit. He, how much you spend on them shoes? Uh, eighty dollars. Should have spent that eighty dollars on da 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 da. Like Doc, like he yeah. gave us the opportunity. Like y'all gotta remember, bro. The Cheddar Boys was the biggest shit that the city had ever Hell seen yeah. at the time, Hell and yeah. he gave us the opportunity to market their second Hell project. Yeah. You know what For I'm sure. saying? So, and that was that was a big deal. So to y'all us. say y'all top three, motherfucking um. Y'all gave y'all top three on the mo- on the music side, but give me y'all uh record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he give me that three, two, one. Yeah. Oh yeah, keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So give me your top three movies. Uh, nigga, my favorite movie of all time Malcolm is, X. is Harlem Nights, man. Yeah. Like, the way he assembled that cast. Like, I just was watching that with my five-year-old daughter because I had to show her, like, this when a motherfucker selfless. It don't matter what people think about nobody, but when yeah. you respect the motherfucker, yeah. you include them in what you do. Yeah. What's Harlem Nights without Red Fox, yeah. Della Reese, that, Richard But Brown, that's Eddie Murphy, though. And white boys, too. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. He knew, bro. Like, when a motherfucker... Got you in mind for mm-hmm. something. It don't matter when it's gonna yeah. happen. Like I said, like man, I just got buddy in my mind. Like yeah. when I'm able, I'm just go whatever yeah, door yeah. I can open because it don't matter when it is. Yeah, long yeah. as I call the nigga and he still say he rapping here, bro. I got something for you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. See so, if that so can make you, you happen. I got Harlem Nights. Uh, Harlem Nights. Uh, Forrest Gump. Mm, that was my yeah, see, my shit was Malcolm X, Forrest Gump, and Training Day, dog. Yeah, Training Day. Day. Yeah, yeah, that's training that's Day. That's a lot cold motherfucker. That's why I'll never dog. shake his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my shit, dog. My shit, I got to my shit, and my shit is motherfucker Malcolm X. Yeah. yeah. My shit is Bronx Tales. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and then yeah. it got, I gotta go with like either a Friday or a motherfucking Men's Society. I uh, see. Because I Men's to me, all right. Men's and Boys in the Hood is like the two best hood movies. The reason why Boys in the Hood might be the best because Boys in the Hood. It, it tell you how it is in the hood. You got Cuba Good, the nigga who in the hood, but not really a hood. But Cuba Good, uh, sorry, he was the realest nigga in the yeah, movie, and he get he clowned the most shit, when he get out the, the car. car yes. Like niggas clown niggas for yeah. Trey getting out the car, but it's a bunch of you niggas that yeah. wasn't real as Trey that's in yeah. jail or and, dead because y'all scared, ain't get out the too, car, too scared, right? Because of, hey, yeah, this, this ain't, ain't this, this ain't me. Yeah, my dad nigga Furious was the coldest dad name ever. Furious Styles, nigga. That nigga taught me. Better than to be in this world. Right, and, that, and that's and why I like. And my dad it. was the difference. Yeah. That's what it was. The difference he, between everybody in the car was he had a dad. Yeah, and Q was like, "Dog, I'm not even mad at you. Like, I know, I know." It, that's when he said, "Like, did you get him?" And Q was like, "Nigga, come on now." Yeah, you you, you, know, you just them. like I know you. you know okay, me. so when that's I went to LA the first time, I went to LA. The homies had took me to where that scene was yeah. where they shot the uh, niggas who yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. So, but to. That's the difference between Boys in the Hood and Minister Society yeah. for me, right? Because the father, not yeah, Sharif father, had a father, yeah. but they didn't have the best relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Furious came and got his son yeah, exactly when yeah. it was Took young. Him, yeah, yeah. Like you coming, it's time for you so to like, come with me. Like that's not my hood movie, but I, I say Bronze Tales, Shawshank Redemption, Malcolm X. See, I've never even seen Shawshank Redemption, bro. That's yeah. my shit. Yeah, but I heard it was one of the ones. See, that's my shit. But dog. I could, but. The truth is, bro, like, I had quit watching a bunch of movies that I thought I liked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I won't watch uh, Casino. Yeah. I won't watch Goodfellas because the Scarface. The, the Scarface. They only talk about black people negatively. Neg- negatively. Movies. So yeah. I won't watch them movies no more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even with Menace and all that type of shit. I've lived enough of that to know that I don't got to see that. Mm. Like, it shouldn't be 15-year-old niggas today thinking they old dog. Yeah. But that's the influence <laughs> yeah, of programming. Sure. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand those movies for what they are. But, yeah. like, we've never had a counter to those movies to show. Like, I had what a dog that... Huh? The inkwell would be a counter. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the my inkwell shit. That's was my shit too. Yeah. Yeah. My girl Jada. Yeah, yeah. 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 inkwell was my shit. Too. Hey, you know what else <laughs> niggas sleep on though? Niggas sleep on uh, when Doggy had got what was that movie? Uh, when they was robbing the banks, he got out of jail. Bo King, what was that? Oh, it's about Jason's lyrics. Jason's lyrics. Yeah, 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 that's the shit too. Hey, yeah. I want to say nigga, I'm Bo. I, he Bo Kim. I'm a motherfucker. I'm a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that's what we say about him too. Speaking of the, what's your top three sitcoms though? 
Say can I, my thought my, oh that's easy. Uh Martin and San Francisco Fresh Prince. <laughs> my shit is Fresh Prince. Yeah. House of Pain. I love that shit. Dude. Dude. Uh, yes. I watch I, that I shit. I find out all shit time. about you all day. I watch it every I day. I find out something new what, about what, you. What, bro, just watch it, bro. That's yeah. some of the no, real shit. I forgot, I forgot I was the name. pain and good times, bro. Yeah. Good times. Like, yeah. good, I good times. Uh, but good times, good times from, this is about to sound fucked up, but from when James died on. And the only reason is because it's newer. Yeah. It's still it just, old as yeah. shit. It's like newer. So Saturday Saturday afternoons in the Jackson house is good times. That's both our songs. Good times. Uh, oh, oh uh, honorary mention, facts of life. That was a house oh, full of My honorary mention is Wayne Brothers, though. He hated by love. The Wayne Brothers. Nigga, I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm a dog. The Wayne Brothers. That shit is trash. Oh, that kid came on the WB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to sing him up. Fucking, uh, went to sing him up. Y'all let this frog sing me. Y'all tell y'all this shit coming up next. That shit was cold, dog. Fuck y'all. Listen, bro, listen. You're not the only person that think that, right? So I tried, man. My other homeboy told me, nigga, you gotta watch. You know, you think they funny because I like them niggas. You know what I'm saying? He always tells shit to me, dog. Because it's slapstick comedy at its worst. It's not slapstick comedy at its finest, bro. It's 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 they silly. Yeah, I hate a silly nigga trying to be silly. That's slapstick. I hate. That's why I hate Adam Sandler. Not as a person, as an actor. Yeah, but no, see, Martin. I just found some shit about Martin. That Two Live Crew did the intro to that on the regular song. I never knew that shit. I, I, I like Martin. It's called uh, You Go Girl. And oh, yeah, yeah. You, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And it's the same motherfucking. Uh, uh, he just several the yeah. yeah. I like uh, I like Martin, but not as much as Fresh Prince because I don't feel like Martin was nothing besides comedy. I felt like Fresh Prince was like it they, taught you something. Now, if I gotta you. go with like, if you give me like, what's your favorite sitcom? It's always gonna be San Francisco. My older brother loved it. Hassan loved it. I watch that shit to this day. I can't yeah. do it, man. Yeah, I, I just can't do it. I fuck with good times. Yeah, like I, yeah. I fuck <laughs> with good times. Fresh Prince. I don't even know if I got a three. I just let that bitch float in and out. You feel what I'm saying? Right, I know what ain't popping. And that's the fucking ways, brother. Damn, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 I, I hate y'all niggas now. <laughs> All right, this is my last one, You dog. can't mix me up in that because I didn't say that. Oh, See, yeah. that's what niggas do with okay, me. Okay, cool. And it took me a long time to figure it out, right? And I was at work one day, right? And, uh... A nigga was talking to some other twins, and he was like, man, I hated twins growing up. So I'm playing the back, because he don't know I'm a twin. Yeah. And then I was like, that sound crazy. Why? He was like, because, bro, no matter what, you just always outnumbered, man. Yeah. And I ain't had no brother. And that's how niggas used to come at and us that, when they used to fight that us shit and shit. Clicked it on. always yeah. used to be like, at least oh, four niggas. Because yeah. you mad, because you ain't as fortunate yeah. enough to have a twin. Yeah. That you, because, like I said, you can learn from a baby. I just was no. listening like, why, why, why you say that? Yeah, nigga don't sure. even know I'm a twin. Yeah, for sure. You're like, oh, okay, you old bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the lesson. Hell yeah, you know hell yeah. My last uh, top three is going to be top three childhood crush. Nigga, nigga, Apollonia, <laughs> Heather Hunter, <laughs> Apollonia, Heather Hunter. Damn, what was that one bitch name? <laughs> okay, well, sit. Why you thinking? Uh, old girl from the Facts of Life, Tootie. Tootie. Yeah, Tootie. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah. Tootie, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna go with Lark Voorhees. From Saved by the Bell. Then she changed her color. But yeah, back then, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. From Saved by the Bell. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't know, man. Uh, Like, the the sister... Oh shit! I, is this childhood the sister on uh, Dead Presidents? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She what? She has nice little titties. Yeah, so, yeah. She was cold. Yeah. Yeah. The See, sister. On real quick, my shit was uh, Jay Pickett, Neil Long, and Topanga. Topanga. Oh yeah. Topanga. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I thought Topanga in there for honorable <laughs> mention. Okay. Shit, so I ain't even gonna lie though. My Topanga honorable still type. Yeah. Oh, my honorable mention is uh, uh, old girl parenthood. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I know you're talking about Raven, uh, what's her, her, uh, Gomez, Raven Gomez, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, 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 I follow her on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I follow her on Twitter, you know, right, she, man. she was married back then, she been married since she was 18, nigga, oh, that's like, what's up, you feel what I'm saying, yeah, I, my honorable old, mention is actually Jesse from, uh, Say by Say by by oh, yeah. she okay. look good now, yeah, yeah. Nigga. yeah. all right, man, it's, it's 4 30, we've been in bitch chopping up for a minute, dog, real quick, a real brief story of a drunk or hot moment, dog, shit, Oh, I, I that okay. So I stopped drinking Grey Goose when I did this. <laughs> I remember, man. So I worked at the airport, and my homeboy Sanford was a DJ. Okay, and this why this nigga the coldest because he deaf. Yeah, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? Deaf He's deaf. It. Damn. And he was a DJ. Yeah. He was. We was at like a. It was his function, so the whole job can't because you know niggas just supported each other. Mm. And I got so fucking faded off the Grey Goose, like I was telling him, it ain't even had no taste. So I'm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get so 
No, nah, fuck that. I'm going to tell you this one. Okay, so I, I got some homeboys. Well, back in this time, <laughs> this is how I got introduced to Jaeger. So a, a, a nigga we went to high school with was on the radio on 955. His name was Chuck Hollywood. Yeah. So my white homeboys, uh, Rob, Rob came to get me because my Mexican homeboy, Brandon, stepbrother was getting married. So we went out and we went out to a club in Pontiac. Yeah. So Chuck on the radio at this time. And the bartender see we with Chuck, right? Mm -hmm. We came on our own, but Chuck was there hosting. Yeah. Clutch Cargoes. Clutch, Clutch Cargoes. Big ass club. Yeah. I already know. <laughs> the bartender see we with him. We paying for single shots. This nigga's giving us triples. Yeah. I get I so I you was faded up. off the Jaeger. I don't remember leaving. Yeah. Now I live in Inkster. I don't remember nothing, yeah. but my white homeboy tapping me. We at your crib. I don't remember going in the house. My man is getting married. I'm invited to the wedding. I'm so fucked up that I get up so late that I make it to the end of the reception. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I'm that faded. No, dude. he's there that the end. Faded, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I, this is the only thing I remember. I was eating some Pizza Hut. And then I just was chucking that shit up in the basement. Damn. That's why I don't yeah, fuck with the basement. basement. <laughs> because I lived with my mama in the basement. <laughs> and I'm like, dog, that Jaeger really had me faded. I look, a bitch told me like you call me talking crazy. Bitch always That's gonna what get you back always together. So you always talk crazy. Bitch always get back together. Oh my bad. I was just, yeah. <laughs> so I had a high story, right? So this is my edible this is my initial edible story, right? So my, my homegirl Fallon, uh she she we smoked together and all that and we uh at the time we we was we always used to kick it off and on this yeah. was my you know what i'm saying this was my i was in 12th grade she was in ninth grade so we've been okay. this is my dog though right yeah. so she tell me you know nigga we on the edibles now or whatever so she come through and we eat the edibles we eat a brownie together right now it don't kick in and it ain't doing shit so i eat some up we get to smoking oh, yeah, the hold on hold on hold on yeah 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 i know that now oh, yeah. <laughs> so we get to smoking the blunt of brew dream and we shoot to uh Pizza Populous. Yeah. Now in the midst of us going to Pizza Populous and coming back to the to the crib, the lights go out in the hood. You remember? Yeah. So no, as soon as we get from Pizza Populous, the lights go out in the hood. Seafood pizza. That's my favorite pizza because my granddaddy used to yeah, bring my wife them bitches. Down, like, I don't fuck with the seafood pizza. My, my granddaddy used to bring them bitches home when we was yeah. little. We used to wait up for it. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. You got sentimental value. It's trash, though. For <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. That shit is <laughs> damaged on the stomach. Super heavy on the Yeah, that shit is damaged on the stomach. Like, I don't recommend that. So we get the seafood pizza. We come back to the crib. The lights end up going out now. Yeah. The motherfucking uh, edible done kicked in. Yeah. And we off some Blue Dream, too. And Duh. this one, Blue Dream, was kind of new. <laughs> Yo, cuz, I'm super paranoid. I'm looking out of... It's, it's dark. It's pitch black. Yeah. I'm at the top of the house, like, attic style, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got the chopper looking out the window... <laughs> Flashing a flashlight, thinking I see niggas, and she looking at me like, "Yo, you bug." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you. In the midst bugging. of this, I put the she chopper down. Out. Yeah, I put the chopper down. I get to eating the seafood pizza. Yeah. Now you know when you on them edibles, the more you eat, the higher you get. Damn. Dog, she had to call her daddy to come get her. Like, yo, you bug. <laughs> like you bug. You know what I'm saying? Duh. And I'll never forget that. So I won't eat no edibles, but I fuck with some gummies though. And yeah. Blue Dream, my favorite strand. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For Blue sure. Dream, my favorite yeah. strand. Duh, yeah, that, that, I was fucked up. I man. told that nigga the next day, like, bro, I swear to somebody was out there. Yeah, this nigga had the flashlight. Like he a police like that. No, no so I'm, I'm looking out the window because, like I said, I'm. Attic style, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. So motherfuckers, it's dark. The, this, the hood is pitch black, yeah, yeah. and I'm too hot to even get in the car and drive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going from one end of the house with the flashlight. Look, if a motherfucker <laughs> would have looked, if like you would have been driving past, you would have noticed that there was some light up there because it was pitch black. <laughs> so I'm doing shit like, damn, can I see out of there? Go back on this side, looking no. out the window. I'm bugging, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> no, trip, I ain't mixing, taking no. Smoking no weed with no edibles yeah, again. Cause you I gotta learn. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta learn. learn. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Man, shit, man. <laughs> hey, man. That's funny ass stories, dog. That, don't, don't, don't eat no edibles, y'all. Y'all can't hold it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, get the people, y'all, social, where they can find y'all at the podcast, all that shit, dog. Man, the podcast, the connected experience to drop. Every Monday on everything that you can uh, get podcasts on. We've been doing this shit for so long that some of this shit didn't even exist. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So wherever you listen to your podcast, every Monday, 
at 1201, right? Mm-hmm. So 1201, bam, it's, it's on there every Monday to connect the experience. Instagram, T-C-E-P-O-D, Twitter, T-C-E-P-O-D. I'm a Twitter and motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I if, talk that shit. So yeah. follow if you If you want to get at me, man, it's just one sljackson.com. That, that's the only way you go learn about all what my other socials is and all of that, yeah. man. Uh, I, uh, I appreciate you having us, bro. Oh, like, sure. I appreciate that shit, dog. Like, I, I, know, I, I, I know that niggas be smoking on here and shit, but I don't know the landscape, so yeah. I would have brought some weed and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. I normally don't come empty handed. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, for sure. So, that's how I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, that's what I'm about to say. I know this ain't the first order. I, I mean, I know this ain't the last, man. And, yeah. uh, uh, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate yeah, you, you man. I like what you're doing, bro. Congratulations appreciate on all your man. Success, you know what I'm saying? Like it. I told you when I text you, bro, them daughters something special, dog. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. fucking heart gonna melt. No, Listen, it's, man, it's I ain't never want to punch my daughter in the mouth so much for doing shit that it's <laughs> irked me. Like, you know how kids yeah. is, and I can't help but to laugh. Like, yeah. this little motherfucker, no. man. Like, so when I go to the crib, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Wash my hands and shit, get myself yeah. together. Oh, dog, wait till you come through the, like, like nigga, I, I'm at the point where, like, I come in the crib and my daughter diving in my hands. I can't even, daddy, I strap on me and everything. Whoa, <laughs> chill out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it ain't right. nothing like it, bro. Yeah. Like I don't know the feeling of having a son because even when I found out my wife was pregnant, I ain't want a son. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't want some little knucklehead nigga running around thinking he tried to have to live up to what I was. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, and plus them daughters gonna take care of you. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Your son will be like, "Fuck she, you, being sick." Yeah. Your daughter and gonna get you. She nothing. my last one, so once I get that that old ass age, she gonna take yeah. care of me, dog. Yeah, yeah. So Hell yeah, I can already tell she gonna be a little more fucking mean ass person just from a couple days. See, Exactly, like, like you could already yeah, tell, like, yeah, this yeah. one gonna be me. Shot, my, little shot, chill one. Ain't hey, a motherfucker gonna be like the Bo Kemp nigga, he gonna be all over the place. Like, <laughs> what the fuck going on? <laughs> and but you need that, brother, you know? Yeah, yeah you need for that. sure. But so, yeah, man, if you had to leave man. people with some words, though, what would it be, man? What's some little short sentiments you can leave people with? Oh man, uh, the highs ain't so high and the lows ain't so low. Man, I always do business with family, yeah, and I want for my brother, brother what, what I, I want for myself. myself. Man, and then I think I'm a, I always end up on some silly shit, dog. But I think I'm gonna end, up, end up on some real shit, man. Like, like it's never too young to learn. I mean, you never too old to learn. Never. You know what I'm saying? So always learn. Always keep things. Always keep people around you that can that can keep you up in your game. Because my brother said some real shit, dog. He said, if you the smartest nigga in your crew, you in the wrong crew. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you got, or, some people, but you can't be the smartest nigga in your crew, but you just got to grow. And, yeah, yeah. If y'all can elevate each other, dog, y'all doing something right, man. Sure. Yeah, you know what, sure. dog? I'm, I, if, some more words, dog. You got to find the right motherfucker for you, man. Oh yeah, that's man, woman, yeah, crew, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Find don't, don't, right yeah, don't, don't be in no you. lifetime contracts with these niggas, man. And what I mean by that is, man, just because we all grew up on E Block. I don't. I, you don't deserve nothing from me from yeah. that, and I don't deserve nothing from you if you ain't a good person. Hell like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like Hell yeah, for sure. Because you know, niggas be loyal to shit that really ain't loyal to them. Hell man. yeah. It, it, you can't be loyal to nothing without being loyal to yourself so, first, and you can't love nothing without loving yourself first. So Hell yeah. And you can't show nobody else how to love you if you don't love for yourself. Sure. You know and it wouldn't be me if I ended like on some comedy shit, dog. Hey man, if you find a bitch that's a hoe, she ain't gonna be no housewife. I, I beg <laughs> it different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of good hoes. A lot of good housewives have been some good hoes before, man. I used to pimp too, man, but we can talk about that later, man. <laughs> hey, hey, man, make sure y'all get with the connected experience, man. Make sure y'all check out the uh, episode I was on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, right, just out. check that catalog out. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, check out everything they, they got out, man. Uh, shit. Hope y'all continue success, man. Hope Thank y'all you, man. 2021 is just as good as 2020, dog. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At yeah. the very least, just as good. Hell yeah, for sure, dog. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Episode 52. Shout out to everybody. Like, <laughs> ah!